smells beautiful, does this. I might tip some out into, um, I might tip some out just onto the surface, in fact. Look at that. Can you see how uber fine they are? But because it's natural mineral, because that is a real life mineral, in fact, let's put it, oh, I don't know. I'll let, I'll, yeah. I'll let Kirsty deal with that later because it needs to be out, but it just, but anyway, but it just looks rubbish just poured on the table, doesn't it? But look, it's really nice. It's really textured because it's a proper mineral. Because it's a proper mineral, you've got some of that, the natural sort of shine to it. Now, what I do love about this, you can mix it with all sorts of different products. So here, hopefully, that's still drying. So I've mixed it with a texture paste. The texture paste is still drying. Obviously, because I've been working like a fool today, so some of the things are still drying. So where it's a bit um, milky, there, it kind of looks like mould, doesn't it? You know, when it starts going a bit mildewy, it's not. It's just texture paste, it hasn't dried yet. This bit has dried. So there you're just seeing the mineral. So you can just use it as is, mix it with loads of different texture paste. You can put it through your stencils, and I love that. It just looks so natural. And the texture is gorgeous. It feels like um, pumice stone on this one. Can you see this one? Now, this will be a bit trickier to see. It's more of a texture thing, is this. But it's all over here. So, actually, I've put it everywhere. But because I've mixed it with the... Um, the What did I mix it with? I mixed it with... Oh, I can't remember. Gel medium, matte gel medium. Your gel medium um, absolutely disappears. And then you're just left with that beautiful, beautiful mineral. It's absolutely gorgeous. You, that will last you ages, actually. It's a really nice big pot, is that one. You've then got your heavy body gel. Now, your heavy body gel is an absolute essential. We've all used heavy body gel. It's one of those that you, you need. It's just a, a must have. And I've put it next to this one, but that's the wrong one, really. Um, Everybody gel is something you can mix with your mineral powders. You can do all sorts with it. And I'll, obviously, I'll be using that throughout. It's a good adhesive as well, though, is your heavy body gel. Really, really recommend that for everybody's stash. It's an essential. Next, gesso. Absolute essential again. But this is a really nice thick gesso, and that is actually what I have done with that. So I've put it on um, just a piece of card. I've made marks into it, but then I've used the media inks, which are an alcohol-based ink. I love the inks. These are seriously cool. Um, your gesso, I've also, that's also just your good old white gesso, and then the media inks. And do you know what that is? Just a regular cardboard box. But because it's got the media inks on, doesn't it look cool? That's a regular, and I'll show you because I haven't finished it. Look, regular cardboard box. But I just thought, it's funny actually, last night when I did this, and um, I, show, I were doing it, I said to Ben, that looks rubbish. But when you put the inks on, it's like, wow, that looks so cool. And it's just gesso, but it is a really nice gesso. It's got a really good body to it. Again, it's, um, it's a strong gesso, so that will also hold embellishments and things. Now, as I said, we've got two crackle glazers. This is your other crackle glaze. Now, this is beautiful. This one gives you the look of fine porcelain. So it crackles. Can you see how fine those crackles are? Absolutely gorgeous. And again, with something like that, you can put that onto so many different surfaces. I've got another one, actually, that I forgot I put it onto. Um, but that is absolutely beautiful. I haven't waxed it yet, so I'll have to do that later. We've then got... Now, these are really cool as well. So you've got three different pens. The first one is our wonderful modelling paste. Now, we have sold this so many times. Um, it is available in two pots, and honestly, it flies out every single time we've got it because this is the stuff that lets us do this. So we've got these moulds on the show as well. Look at that. That is your modelling paste. And look at that. I mean, look at that mould. How beautiful is that? That's what modelling paste does. And that's why it flies out time after time after time. Um, in fact, it's already been seen modelling paste. Only £10.99. We have got, that's the other mould that's on the show. So if you're loving that detail, then do check those moulds out. So yeah, the moulding paste is amazing. Now, because it comes in a pen, it allows for different applications. And I'll talk about that when I get to demo. Um, okay, then we've got the last two in this one. 
are your ice and snow pens. Now, these are lovely because, again, you can be very specific with your application, but these will give you that really nice frosted look. This is just normal glass. But all you do, you go over with your frost and your ice, then it gives you that beautiful frosty look. Obviously, it goes on glass. This is what I love about Pentart. You can go on so many surfaces. It takes a lot of work to read up and to remember all the different surfaces, but you have to experiment. This is the other one as well. So with that, you can see I've um, stenciled and then just stenciled with the paint that we've got on the show, but then gone over with crystal and then with the snow. So crystal gives you more of that. Can you see it's really subtle? It just looks like ice, basically. And the way the, the you know, the light jumps off ice, whereas the snow, the snow is, um, it's still got that really subtle sparkle, but it's richer, so it's whiter. And it hasn't got, um, it's not as clear, so you don't see through it as much. But they work together beautifully. Um, so many things to talk about. There's so many things you can do with every single product on this show. Um, that that sorry is um your your thingy as well thingy there's going to be a lot of thingies in this hour uh this morning i spent half an hour just looking for my purse um there's a lot of thingies light modeling paste that's your light modeling paste with the media inks how cool does that look i absolutely adore that and look your crackle so this is your micro crackle <laughs> micro crackle micro crackle um that's your micro crackle <laughs> Not saying it again. <laughs> I'm so pleased I can't make a rude word out of that because by now we'd have been doomed I'd have said it twice, wouldn't I? Phew! Um, but, so this is just like your normal paper. But what I love about the micro crackle, it will go on paper. So you don't need, with the other one, you need a prime surface. But with the micro, um, and can you see, when you're getting proper close, you, can, you, have to, you have to sort of be in there close for that because the detail. Can we see? Do -do -do -do. Here we come. There. So you can see all the way. You can see some up there. That isn't micro crackle. That's just normal crackle place. That's your micro. You can see it here. You've got micro. Look on the paper. What I love about this, it makes your paper look more finished. It gives it a really beautiful, rich glaze. So it does look, even when the bits that don't sort of crackle, they look fantastic. And if I just move down, you can see it on the frame. You know, it's crackled down the frame. You can see it as we go down the paper, all down the paper there, all the beautiful crackling on the door. I love this because it doesn't take away from the actual design. It doesn't mask the design. It doesn't, you know, it's not like you can't see your paper anymore. You can absolutely see your paper, but it just gives it such a beautiful finish. So that one's a micro. There's so much to learn about these products. What I definitely suggest you do, Get hold of your one day special, but then take your time. There's lots and lots and lots of educational videos on the website, well, not ours, on Pentart's website. They've got a YouTube channel, and they've got loads and loads of education for these products. Um, and then just experiment. It's one of those. You need time, you need drying time, but you need experiment time, because they are such good fun. It's cracking that. Oh, it's busy. I were nervous, you know, because it's like, oh, I hope they'll like it because there's loads of stuff and I don't know if I've done enough, but 15% of the stock has gone. You're loving it. It's Pentart, isn't it? Um, okay, it's going out for you on the 28th of this month, um, so do not miss out on these. It is brilliant. I love Pentart. They're such a good company. Um, okay, 234-445 is your item number. I love them because they're such, um, they're, they're, they're just magical. Sorry, I'm moving, aren't I? <laughs> I'm off whilst talking. Um, I'm loving because they're really passionate about their their, um, their jobs. They're producing stuff. And um, obviously, the, the dad who started the whole company is still, when we went to Frankfurt, he was there and he was still so passionate. And I love it because the family's running it now, but he's, he's still got his finger on the pulse and he loves the products. I mean, genuinely loves the products and gets really excited. And I, I think that's fabulous, isn't it? You know, when the owner still loves it and has that passion, you know, they're not just doing it to make tons of money. They actually love their products. And I think that, I 
I like that. It's nice. <laughs> okay, I like these two uh, media inks. Oh, man. I forgot how good alcohol inks were to play with. Alcohol inks are seriously addictive to play with. And once I start messing about with these, I mean, you can tell I've been messing about quite a lot because my hands, they're, they're <laughs> trying to get my contact lens in today was vile. Um, so these are alcohol inks, but they are beautiful. I love the bottle because the bottle, and I should have done a swatch, but I, I have seriously run out of time. By tomorrow, I'll have a swatch. Um, as long as it's stock. But I like the bottle, so you don't need to have a sponge applicator or anything like that. You can use the bottle. So what we've got here, your different colours. Now, oh, for starters, you have got your dilutant. Now, I love this. You've got two different options, both options. You have got a dilutant. You'll want that. That allows you to, to knock the colour back a bit. But it's not like with other alcohol inks where when you add the dilutant, it kind of pushes the alcohol inks away. It doesn't. It kind of gets them to blend, which is really interesting. So it's a really nice way of working with the inks. And then let me go through the colours in this first one. So what you've got in here are, so this could be different. Oh, that's your apricot. You've got, can I tell, I'm going to have to pick them up and read them to you folks. So you've got white coffee. Um, this one is, it's turned around in its tub. So that one is, I don't know. I should have took them out of the packaging. It needs to come out of the packaging anyway because the packaging's all shiny. That's your silver. Um, you've then got at the bottom, uh, shall I pick these up as well? So we've got bronze. You've also got, oh, Kirsten, would we be able to take them out of the packaging after? Gold, and then we've got apricot. Now, the gold, the bronze, and the silver, metallics. Metallics that you are adding to your alcohol inks. I mean, that will give you that beautiful burst of colour. Highly recommend these. They're absolutely beautiful. That's your first option. And that's collection one. Collection two. So that's kind of your, you know, your, your metallic. So that's kind of the, the shiny bit. These are the colours. So these are your real... I, I must admit, if I were only going for one option, it'd be this option. Because you'd want a pop of colour. And then you'd add your metallics to that. So that'd be, if you can only go for one, that's the way I'd do it. If you're going for both... I mean, obviously, the way I do it is have all of it, obviously, because I'm greedy. But if you can only go for one, this is my, my the, the recommendation. So in this one, now, if we get closer, I'll be able to read them. Is that all right? Here we go. So we've got the dilutant again. We've then got your turquoise. You've got your jade. Absolutely gorgeous. I love those two. And then at the bottom... We will have, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, I know, do, building it up, um, red wine, oh, and then the other two. So there's ginger and there's tangerine, thank you very much indeed. So, um, yeah, so there you go. I mean, have a look at that. How beautiful is that? And that is just on white gesso. So when you think about it, if you put these on your white gesso, if you put them on UPO paper, if you put them on metal, they will go on glass. I am so looking forward to playing with these. I mean, I want to play. Do, if you could, don't buy these because I need these to last at least until tomorrow. <laughs> um, and then I can play with them. And that, as I said, that's on, sorry, I have written that. Um, that's on my, um, your doodah, what's it? that I were talking about before. <laughs> um, okay, 10% of which, the second collection. Yeah, you are going for that one. 10% second collection has gone. I'm gonna play. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence for each collection. The choice is yours. 734-139 is your item number. Right, please check that website out. We've got loads of stuff. The modeling paste is, of course, flying. I mean, a quarter of the stock has already gone. They always sell out to these. Um, it's amazing. Do you know what I want to try this way? And I haven't had a chance, but I want to try it with, um, you know, a piping bag for cake decorating. Because I reckon it's the right consistency to go in a paper, uh, no, in a paper bag. Don't put it in a paper bag. In um, in a bag for, for cake moulding. And I think with something like that, I mean, I don't know what it'll do. I don't know if it'll dip in the mould, but I'd absolutely give it a go. Do not miss out on that. Give it a go. Um, only £10.99 as well is your price if you do want to get hold of that one. Um, the crackles. Oh, I love the crackle glazers. 
Crackle glaze is like just so cool, isn't it? Um, if you want the crackle glazes, they're only ten ninety nine. Um, Forty. Oh, good grief. Forty percent of the stock has gone there. Um, check your basket out with that one. Eight two nine nine two nine six one is your item number. We've also got those wonderful molds. Now you're getting a lot of molds, and I haven't had time to play with these as much as I want. I really want to play with that frame one. That frame one looks amazing. I'd use I wouldn't use my um the stuff we've got on today with the frame. I'd use your air dry clay with that. But I tell you, that'll be absolutely gorgeous. And obviously, you've seen the, the other moulds. They're beautiful. £20.99 for those. 183383. OK. Oh, the alcohol links. Are they flying? Right, I'm going to change my demo. OK. Oh, be Jesus. Right, OK, I'm probably not allowed to say that. 20% um, of what? Sorry, Ross. 20% of collection one and a third of collection two has gone. Now, just because of the way they are flying, I am gonna change my demonstration. I wasn't gonna demonstrate these, first of all. I was gonna demonstrate, um, I was gonna demonstrate the one day special, obviously, but I'm worried about this stock of this, and I do not want to not be able to demonstrate this product because I love them. So let's let's mix it up a little bit. Um, and that's the beautiful thing about having all these products, isn't it? I'm very lucky I am I have got that option of mixing things up. Oh, my life today. <laughs> it's been a bit of a sweary day today, I'm not going to lie. I've, I've sworn a lot because I keep not being able to find things. and twitching. <sighs> but it's okay. I'm all calm now. Right, so, bottle. So, um, they work on glass, obviously. They work on acetate. So I've got acetate underneath because they work on glass. They work on Newport paper. Um, they'll work on, now this they'll definitely work on. Um, and it is, let me tell you what this is, because I always forget what it is. We have got it, or Maggie brings it in. It's a Duralar, so they'll work on the Duralar as well. So experiment. I mean, they'll work on all sorts, you pour paper. They'll work on um, everything. It's it Because they're um, alcohol ink, it's solvent-based, um, and because it's an alcohol ink, it means you can do so much with it. Okay, so easy peasy, easy but fun. So take, um, take a glass jar. I mean, I were lucky I found these, but, I mean, you can use any glass jars just upcycle and what i'm going to start doing is spilling it along everywhere so just get a few colors out first of all now when you're actually using these don't leave the lids off too long alcohol based product which means obviously if you leave the lids off too long they will absolutely evaporate so don't do that too much but let's start just stripping some of the ink down now what i love about these is the way they'll blend, they'll move, they'll give you so many different looks. Because I'm working on glass, now I don't know if you'll be able to see this as well as I can, but have a look how they start to blend. So you've got all these beautiful colours. What's gorgeous about these is that the way they dry is so quick, but how you can then still change it. So it means, can you see that already? That actually looks a bit scary, doesn't it? So let's... <laughs> let's cheek a bit Halloween. Right, but look, you can still layer. So start layering colour on. Look. And I adore this. Now, this is really nice. The applicator is fabulous because the applicator really allows you to be quite specific where you're putting it. And you don't need to worry about um, the right felt. And it, they do, I find they do work differently to the other alcohol inks that I've had. Look at the way they say, oh, I shouldn't have done glass, first of all. Can you see the way it's going there, which looks beautiful? Let me put a um, white card behind it. I wonder if that helps. Yeah, that helps. There you go. I'm getting a beautiful puddle down here. And, I mean, this is another thing. I'm working on a paper that I know they'll work on. So it means I'm not wasting anything as ever. So keep going, keep going. This is just beautiful. Um, yeah, you do need to protect the website for information. Obviously, um, it is a solvent-based product. Um, so please make sure you're working in all the right conditions to actually use them. But it is all on the website. 
so do have a little look on there what oh half of the stock has gone and i'm being really quick you'll take your time if you are making halloween jars <laughs> that's the one in it halloween jars straight away uh, but if you're not then you add your blue one like so and I, i'm i love it because it's so quick and so easy i'm not wasting any because i'm going to make something else at the bottom there and i'm moving it and what you can do as well because you've got your dilutant with this down here on my um on my paper down there because that's the dilutant i haven't opened yet because i have got my dilutant it means on here i can start bringing the dilutant in and it'll start mixing those colours. So see, it's not... Can you see, you've got it sort of moving. But I can move those colours around. Let me just show you. Look how I can start making those colours move. Isn't that fabulous? I love these. Look at that. Look how they start moving. And the dilutant really allows you to do that. So if, like on here, I will go back to my glass in a minute. But look at that, it's well cool. Now, on something like this, obviously, I love it because already, for me, I just think that already looks like a piece of art. Do you know what I mean? You've got texture in there, you've got all sorts going on. Let me go back to my little glass jar, because this is really just a, a sort of, a, a little extra, if you will. Now, I am going to put my lid back on the one I'm not using, because I'm not using my, my jade at the moment. I'm using the turquoise and the red. And I'm only using the two colours at the minute. But you can use as many colours as you want. But these are both in collection too. And I will put some gold on here as well. Now with the gold, well with all the um, thingy colours, the uh, metallics, they do need, and I'm going to put a little bit of the dilutant here as well. So your dilutant, even when they're dry, can you see, I can still get it to move your dilutant will be if if you don't like something you can clean it off with your dilutant so if you make a mess you can clean it if you want your colors and actually i haven't got oh might work with that sponge if you've got um a sponge you can actually look with your dilutant you can kind of sponge those colors on as well now can you see that there can you see how that goes? Let me put the white card behind. I didn't think this one through really, did I? Look at that. How cool is that? I love, love, love those colours. Don't they look fabulous? It's, um, it's just so unusual. I absolutely adore the way it kind of, it all starts to, to merge. All those colours start to merge together. If I bring in another colour as well, like this, and this time, just letting it shift round, just scooching around like this. And then bringing some more of the dilutant in, like so. I do, I hope, I hope, I don't know if we'll be able to get any more stock, but if they do sell out, I hope we can. Because this is the kind of thing that um, I want to play with all day. It's so funny because you do when you've like not played with something for yonks and then you find it again it's like you know a kid with a, a new toy again it's like oh my gosh i forgot how much fun these were and i'm i'm now you forget you're on tv so i do apologize if i'm not really telling you what i'm doing all i'm doing now so i'm adding the apricot now i'm also adding the dilutant the dilutant will start to move those colours. The dilutant is absolutely essential. I'm so pleased it's in with the kit because sometimes when you get alcohol inks, you don't get the, the the sort of blender or the dilutant. Oh, I love that. See, when that's got light in it, that will look phenomenal. Look at that. How cool is that? I like all the different patterns. I like how sometimes you've got the, you know, the, the runs in there. Whereas sometimes you've got sort of the, the blobs and sometimes it's really thick and then others it's really washy. Absolutely adore that. Now, I'm happy with that. See, for me, for me, that 
I'd leave that just as is. You've then got that beautiful piece of paper there. Now, something like this, obviously, you can, again, start to move it. So if I get that sponge again, and you can use a sponge, you don't have to use um, the bottles if you don't want to. It's just they do make it quite good fun. So if I add a little bit more of the, the blue and make it into a bit of a thing now. Now what I will do is show you some of this gold. Because the gold, I think once you see the gold and the silver, that is when you'll probably sort of go, oh my gosh, yeah, they're a bit beautiful too. And look, I mean, the thing is we are colinks. Look, when you put one inside the, like, when you drop them in, it's when they start to move. Oh, they're so good. Isn't that fabulous? And it's like, um, look at that. They just give you so many beautiful colours. Look at them. Aren't they ace? I mean, it's funny, actually, because alcohol inks, you know, we're, we're, we're heavily into pouring at the minute, but alcohol inks give you that kind of that really strange effect where they just keep moving and blending and then reacting and just, oh, they're fab. And all I'm doing is dropping one into another and that is it. I've got that beautiful background anyway that's created just from the, the waist. I will pop my lids on. I won't uh, forget to pop my lids on and I'll try not to lose my lids like that. Now, Let's get these out. So you've got your gold, you've got silver, and you've got bronze. Let me find my bronze. Come here. There, okay. It is so busy. 40% of collection one. That's with the bronze and the silver and the gold. Um, collection two is 60. These are flying out the door. Right, you need to give these a good shake. They have got a little metal ball burning in that you can hear. Think, think. Um, because they have got the, the powders stuck at the bottom there. So you really need to mix these up, okay? Because you want that gold or the silver, whichever you're using, to really come through. Right, okay. Now what, oh, just spilled a bit there already, because look at that. Can you see that sparkle straight away? <laughs> cups, lovely cups. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. And as it goes on, it's just magic. I don't know if that looks as good as it looks for me. I don't think it does. I wonder, I wonder, if I go onto the camera, would you be able to see it better onto the camera? Oh, man, it's just so cool. The way it just look, there it is. Honestly, they're so beautiful. Those colours are so beautiful. That gold is amazing. At the minute, it just looks like it's living. It's just all sparkling. It will obviously settle. So once the alcohol's evaporated, it will settle. These are so addictive. They really are good fun. Let's put some on my jar and see what it does. Then again, oh man, can you see that? Now you'll be able to see that on my jar. Look at that. Now, again, with the gold, you've got your gold, you've got, I'm going to get carried away with this now, and I can tell I'll cover it all with just the gold. But you can put your dilutant on. So, of course, with something like this, if you want it to mix a little bit more than I am doing, you can do that. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Oh, that looks sensational. Now, let me see. Um, let's see. Can you see that? Look at that colour. That has made it into the most beautiful, warm colour. And that's adding the gold. That makes it look divine. Absolutely divine. Oh, I hope you can... I don't know if you can see that as good as I can. Let me pop that there for you. That gold is beautiful. It really is beautiful. It just gives you such a warm... Yeah, you can see it at the bottom there, I think. It just gives such a warm finish. See, I just love that. Now, it's up to you. You can go as far as you want with this. You can stop. You can sponge it on. You can obviously put it onto loads of different surfaces. You can use it in all your paper crafting. I'm not going to add any more to that. You can use it in all your stamping. There's loads you can do with this. Shall I get this tidied up? Um, 
Right, if you do, oh, it'll go on metal. Like I've got the metal lid, it'll absolutely go on the metal. Shall I just show you that just quickly, quickly? So, because I've got my base there, and then, so say I wanted to with the lid, I'll go with the turquoise again. So, look. So just put a little bit there like that. And then what I am going to do is get my sponge for this one. So get my sponge. Now, you'd use felt for this, not this, because this sponge, it's going to just seep it all up. We haven't got a felt sponge. So it's beautiful on metal. Highly recommend using it on metal. It's so cool. Try it on Miracard. It looks really cool on Miracard. And in a bit of the red now as well. And then, right, let's just see if, when I put the red down, let me see if I add the gold, if you'll be able to see it. I, I can't tip it forward because it'll all run off. But let me just see with the gold. Right, let me, that's kind of like that. And watch the gold. <laughs> and you will get sound effects when you do it at home. <laughs> oh, gosh. See, I'll take photos of this after so you can see it proper because that colour is the best colour on earth. But, I mean, I know that's a big statement. But it does look absolutely beautiful. And it is is—it's better than anything else in the world. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm always gutted that you can't... Oh, you can see it pretty well, though, can't you? Oh, it's delicious. Let me just add some more of the blue. You'll get proper addicted to this. And then I'll put a bit of blue there. Pshh, do you see that? And it pops. Watch. Pshh. It's well cool. Oh, I just want to play with this all day. <laughs> you have to get this. It's ace. Does everybody else want to play with this now? Watch this. It's ace. I wonder what it looked like on your van. <laughs> oh, now I am talking to Anna, obviously. <laughs> So cool. You just have to turn the van on its side, though. That bit problem. Mm -hmm. I would take the panels off and do them separate. Can you imagine, though? I mean, that that is yeah. Tomorrow I'll be doing the sprinter van. Isn't that? Oh my word! You can see those colours. How good is that? And it'll dry. It'll dry with those beautiful colours. Look at the way it just moves. Isn't that just fabulous? Let it dry. The alcohol will all evaporate. All those, that blend, that beautiful blend will stay. I'm going to pop that on there and hopefully that will be dry by the time um, you come back to me. I mean, the bottle, that's nearly already dry. The glass jar is already nearly dry. Um, I'd put over the top of there then, I would actually put um, a glaze uh, to protect it, but how gorgeous is that? Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Um, right, please, please, please check your baskets out. It is very, very busy indeed. Um, we have got, what, what bit is it? Sorry, Ross. Taxi! Um, okay, if you're spending six pounds or over, how easy is that today? Um, you can split your cost into Flexi. Here's more about it. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier.
Yes, spread the cost with your Flexi Order now. Leone's getting ready for another demonstration, but you are shopping ahead. This is a great starter kit in, in a way of trying lots of different elements uh, and introducing to perhaps some new agents that you hadn't had a go with. So let's take you through 10 of these amazing Pentart mediums. So if we start uh, around the bottom here, here you've got that beautiful micro crackle that Leone was talking about. It's a two-part medium, one and two. So it really creates that really, really fine crackle. I loved it on those uh, little cameo pictures or on the frames. It was like looking at some ancient jewellery on paper and card. It's absolutely beautiful. Then we move across and you've got that expanding paste. Now, I've not seen anything like this before, um, the expanding paste. Um, we had a piece of material here a minute ago. I think it's gone back with our Leone, but basically on the material, you're, you're painting it on and it was just literally expanding. Then we've got the priming, the bonder primer. And as uh, Leone said, there's a big tub of this that we've got. Uh, on the show as well uh, if you're upcycling anything basically that'll allow uh, heaps heaps of your uh, things to adhere to uh, what, uh, ceramics glass um, uh, wood uh, all sorts really so it just gives you that great uh, adhesive there to start with there's the expanding paste on the material isn't that fantastic and as she said it literally does expand and then you can sew through that it's amazing stuff I've not seen that before so I'm looking forward to that then we've got this mineral powder as well now we've decanted a little bit there for you because just see how fine it is there's actually loads of lovely little glistening gold bits in there as well because it is genuine genuine minerals so when you want to create texture on uh, your lovely mixed media like Leonie has here through one of her um, masks or stencils. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, and then here it creates uh, loads of different texture on uh, things like your keys and your MDF and uh, just creating uh, loads of different interest there and that's gone on with your with your gel medium there as well really beautiful then across talking of mediums we have got our heavy body gel as well which I know is uber uber useful not just to adhere things to but also in terms of building up your your mixed media there as well moving across we've got the uh, primer paste as well which is lovely well I know you use your primer paste but lovely and thick a really thick gist gesso that that one so that's that's a great one and I know Leone said she used it on this this is just card it actually looks like a tile doesn't it and that's using those alcohol inks we love they have such a lovely glossy finish to them don't they um, and then we've got the lovely uh, crackle here in two parts there which it kind of gives more of a sort of a, a porcelain finish as you can see here on this uh, piece of card there that's amazing isn't it it's because it gives you some great texture there as well so and then if we move across, we've got these now. I love the light modelling paste. I've seen that before with Leone. Uh, we've got lots of um, moles on the show, six moles. So if you love these, I know Leone's going to be working with them. But, but that's what it creates. I mean, it almost feels like lace, but it's far more malleable. And we've also got the mould for this one as well. And then, you know, wrapping that round jam jars or upcycling bottles or around your boxes. Absolutely brilliant. So I know we've got that a separate entity there at the bottom of the screen in larger pots. And then these two beauties. How good are these on glass? Your snow crystal pen and your ice crystal pen. And this is what Leone's used on the jar again here to create that lovely glistening effect. And on her uh, lovely... Um, this wee lady here, up here, you've got it. So it really gives that glossy o over your stencils or on your paints there. So more icy sort of snow, glisteningly snow, more sort of clear like ice with the difference between those two. So as you can see, it's an amazing bundle, isn't it? To, to get your teeth into having a go with a few of them, but good sized pots, great value, massive savings, £34.90, that's a £14 saving, two, three, four, 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 five. and I know over the next coming day and uh, 24 hours, the owner's going to be working with as much of these as she can possible, so you can see how they can use these within your artworks and uh, projects. 20% of the stock of that bundle has already gone, because we know Pentart, we know quality. I want to move on now to the alcohol, uh, yeah, these have proven so popular, because like you, I'm sitting there watching, thinking, I want to have fun with the, the, the alcohols. Uh, these are just the alcohol inks. These are beautiful. When I looked at it, it's the glossiness of them, isn't it? It's the intensity of the colour. It's quite surreal. That's just a normal cardboard box. Um, but look how different it looked on the glass. How amazing was it to see on the tin lid? I mean, it's quite astronomical, isn't it? That's with that lovely um, modelling paste as well. Uh, gesso. On the gesso, sorry. Yes. On the gesso, sorry. Beg your parsnips. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's quite phenomenal. So this first uh, is... is, is this is collection one. Now, what colours have we got in this one, Ross? Just take you through the collection of the colours. I know gold's in there. White apricot, white coffee, metallic bronze, metallic gold, and metallic silver in that dilutant bottle as well. Yeah. It's neck and neck at the moment. 
60% of those has already gone. I'm not sure if they're going to be here tomorrow, Leonie. I know you've got an 8 o'clock show, but that's why she's having to play now and change it all around, because she knows you're loving those as much as she is. And then our second set was the take you through the colours there as well. Jade, turquoise blue, the dilutant, ginger, red wine, and tangerine. Beautiful. 15.99, two-thirds of the stock of that one half gone. So just edging in front there ever so slightly. 734139. Do go to the website because we've got that big pot of uh, the Prime in Bonder on there as well if you're upcycling furniture. Oh, we've got some fantastic acrylics on there as well. We've got other uh, Pentart... Um, Oh, the deluxe paste as well. Oh, gosh, the, the perfect crackles. I mean, ten ninety nine. when I saw that price, seriously, I couldn't get over it. Because that combines your fine and your micro crackle. I mean, that is a billy bargain, isn't it? Expanding paste. Can't wait to see Leonie use that. And, of course, the ever popular, whenever it's on, as Leonie said, it always, always sells out, that light modelling paste for ten ninety nine. Oh, there's those lovely moulds as well, yeah, to use with that modelling paste. £20.99. Uh, fantastic set there. You'll get no end of use with those. Beautiful silicon moulds there. So great to use over and over again. Are you good to go, Leonie, if I come back to I you? I am good to go. All right, let's see Where what she's got up her sleeve next. Am I good to go? Where did I put my stamp? Bear with, folks. See? <sighs> oh, my life. It's, it was... I had it in a pile that was ready... Oh, I'll show you this bit and then I'll find my stamp in a minute. Honestly, I've been twitching because I'm driving myself mad. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is, and I know we all have days like this, don't we? Go on, how long, what was the last thing you put down and couldn't find? Go on, how long did it take to find? Literally half an hour this morning. I had so much to do in half an hour and I literally walked around in circles looking for things. Well, turn, just turn in circles. Car keys. Car keys. Oh, I hate keys. Uh, oh man. Oh. Anyway, expanding paste. So, um, this is really cool stuff. So, there's a lot of things you can do with it. You can just put it on cardstock, you can put it on Jess or um, on um, MDF, you can put it on fabric. Now, this is what for me we're like, wow, really? Never tried anything like this on fabric. So, I thought, let's have a little go. So, I've got a stencil. I picked out some more stencils as well because I've got loads of stencils and I thought, oh, I can have a play. So, I've got one of the, this is a Stamperia um, stencil because um, we love Stamperia. Now, what you can do with this stuff is so get a. Um, Get a palette knife and then literally start popping your expanding paste out. Um, I do think once you've had a go with this, you'll probably want more of this. So I would I would suggest if you like it, probably probably have a little go with this one. Um, maybe and you can add extra things into your basket. So if there's something you're really loving, then put it in your basket. What I'm doing every time I demo this, because obviously one day special, I have a few shows, so I'll probably demo it more than once. But every time I demo it, I'm going to use different fabric. And I mean, I'd like to say that was so everybody else could see how it was, how it reacts on different fabric. It's literally just so I can have a go and see how it acts on different fabric. I'm a very selfish de uh, demonstrator. It's all about me. Didn't really. So. I'm popping this on, but it's nice to know. It's nice to know what fabrics. The other fabric I used earlier um, that you saw that was actually using the uh, the fabrics from the pink um, pink ink ladies. Um, this one is it's like a linen, and I think I think I think I think I'm not 100% sure. I think this one might be from our Haley. So you craft yourself silly, I think. Um, okay, so what I'm doing is completely covering it. So keep my stencil there. Now, what I thought this would be beautiful for, I was going to go and find my art journal with the fabric pages, but obviously I forgot. So what you want to do, first of all, you could just leave it one colour if you want to. Okay, so you just put it on, let it dry, do its thing. However, you can colour tint it, of course. Now, uh, Pentart do have, um, they do have mediums which you can add to this. Um, so they do have um, da -da -da pigments. Uh, we haven't got the pigments on the show, so I am using different pigments. Now, what I'm not doing it is adding, because I don't want to change the consistency. So I'm not adding the alcohol inks, because I don't know, I haven't had time to experiment, but I don't know how the alcohol will re um, react to it. 
I will experiment because I think things like that are really interesting because you find different things. Um, if you add paint to it, you're going to change the you're going to water it down. So because if you add another fluid to it, you're going to change the, the actual structure. So I don't want to do that. Um, I know the, the pigments that, that um, Pentart do, I do believe they're really, really, really strong liquid pigments. You only need literally one drop. But unfortunately, we haven't got those today. I wouldn't use the media sprays, which I know we've got because they're very watery as well. So what I'm using, we had these on yesterday. The, um, that's Crafters Workshop. They, these are um, a pigment but they're a powder pigment so um, you could be you might be using your Lindy stamp gang you might be using your um, which other ones are wonderful brush oils something similar okay so now this will lighten so it might be that you hardly see this but it's nice to experiment isn't it so I'm just popping this on the top I'm not really working it in heavily and I'm not going to completely cover it because we're not going to see the result of this until it's dried. So unfortunately, this will have to be for the next, possibly the next hour when we see the results of this one. But I'll just pop one colour there. I'm going to dollop another bit out and pop another colour. So I'll go in with a blue. Okay. So I'm popping quite a bit of pigment to that because it does lighten a lot. And then just scooping that up. When I did this the first time... I did actually manage to get the powder in the pot. Be careful with that. That is a proper user error. You do not want to get powder in your pot of the full pot. I mean the full pot. Told you it's been one of them days. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now because it's a stencil, obviously, I'm gonna scoop the scoot this off and it looks solid at minute, but it won't be like that. Okay. Happy with that. So now what you do, remove that stencil. Oops, a daisy. Nice. I can't wait for that to dry, but we have to. <laughs> There's no speeding up the drying. You have to wait for that to dry. You cannot dry. It'll take about an hour. Possibly we have got a con Mind you, it's not too cool in here. Um, as usual, I'm cleaning the stencil off. Again, you don't know what kind of print this will give you. might not give you a print. I'm going on black because when you heat it, when it's dry and you heat it, it goes white. So that's why I'm going on black card. I'm going to see what happens with that. Just pop it to one side. And this is what, as you, as you well know, this is what I do. You know, I, I clean stencils just to see what happens. Let's do a layer now because we've got a little bit of excess there. And then we can clean the rest of the stencil off. So as ever, just taking um, a little old thingy brush, stippling brush, clean your stencil off. Again, how many minutes? Three minutes. Uh-oh. How did an hour go already? That's ridiculous. Good grief. It feels like I've only been here five minutes. Okay, so let that dry. That's mad. There were me worrying I hadn't done enough. Right, okay, the one that has dried. And I was going to do the stamp one. Right, what you do as well, you can... I'll show you that in another one. I'm going to do it properly. Okay, so this has dried. This is on fabric, this has dried. You can see how strong that colour looks. Right, so when I were doing this... I might put it on my strong. When I were doing it, I thought, oh, it's not working. Don't give up. Because all of a sudden... Look. And the nice thing is, you don't have to do it all. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just leave it. The texture on that is ridiculous. It just looks so interesting. Now, the fabric is also reacting to the heat, which you can see. So that's why the fabric is also kind of merging. It, I love this stuff. On fabric, I mean, obviously, some fabrics will not like heat at all. This doesn't really like heat, but it's quite cool because it also it starts reacting, so it gives you even more texture. But don't, I'm not staying on it. As soon as uh, it's reacted, I'm moving off it straight away because otherwise I'll burn it. No. How much time have I got? A minute. Gutted. It's all right, we've got another hour, eight o'clock. 
so we'll be able to play with other goodies. I love, love, love um, Pentot One Day Specials because obviously there's so much stuff. And I have to say, I know our lovely Julia um, normally does the Pentot and she does an amazing job. And it was funny, actually. I know she was busy today because she and me filled stuff. But I was thinking, oh, no, I need to go and ask Julie a load of questions. Right, 45 seconds. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Imagine if you're a mixed media artist. Imagine if you're a textile artist and that you're then going to be sewing through that. I mean, that is fabulous. I want to. We've got media ink and um, the spritzers as well on the show. I'm definitely going to spritz over that. Um, the colour looks even better. I don't know what it looks like on my TV. That looks a bit weird, but in real life, it looks absolutely fabulous. Please play with this. Oh, you have so much to play with. Um, please check your baskets. So we are going to be back at 8 o'clock. I'm going to have a katsu curry. Um, mm, mm, yes, see you later. <laughs> Me, sorry. Um, <laughs> Fabric Freedom, happy hour coming up next. We then got me again with the lovely pen tight. And then, hey, welcome to the weekend. See you in a minute. It's a weekend. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Dreaming of a crafty world, Dorothy and Wasabi slumber. Her Chanda's fifth birthday will be a time of wonder. Zuri, LeBlanche and Orlan Create. Wow and Rowan Dean, it's going to be great. Sentimentally yours, Clarity and John Next Door, Pink Frog and Daisy Chain. Who could ask for more? We'll credit your account with £5 to spend, seven days of celebrations, the fun will never end. One day specials with all of your favourite guests, all at a socially respectful distance from the Wicked Witch of the Hayley West. From fabric to paper, to glitter and pencils, pens and stamps, inks and stencils. Join us in August, nowhere will be grander. Happy fifth birthday, there's no place like a chanda. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on Agenda.
Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators, all from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hello, very good evening to you. <laughs> Uh, that was a lovely one-day special. We're joining Annie there later on again at 8 o'clock. But we have got a fantastic hour for you. And I'm here with a fantastic Hayley. Good evening. Good, Good evening, evening, Fiona. She's there. Oh, that's a very, Over here. It's a very official Over wave. There. It's like the royal. Yes. It's it like the royalty, official, my official it? fabric wave. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about fabric freedom, because uh, if it's okay. anything like when we worked together the other day, there was nothing left on the counter, was I know. There? We had a bit of a busy time last year. Uh, well, I thought hopefully this will be just as busy, but we'll, we'll find out. It's definitely fabric-y. If, uh, <laughs> yes, there's a lot of it. So Fabric Freedom are a company based up in uh, Bradford and they have just the hugest warehouse of fabric. Mm. So um, a lot of what they do is for the craft industry, uh, quilting um, and things like that. And they do some amazing collections. We saw one of their collections. I think it was mm, last, was it last week? Was it Sunday? I can't remember. When, we, I don't know. We, yeah. I've, I'm here a lot. It's, it's all a blur. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not a bad way, in a nice way. Um, <laughs> oh, digging myself out of yeah, a hole here. Too late, I? too late. You said it now. It's out there. <laughs> so, uh, Fabric Freedom have a huge warehouse. They specialise in kind of quilting things, but they also do a lot of other fabrics and dressmaking fabrics as well as craft fabrics. So, we're going to start with a few of their craft fabrics and then work our way down through quilting and maybe end at some poplin at the end. Lovely, fantastic. That. And uh, basically, great happy hour deal. So please, please, please check out your baskets because at 8 o'clock all the prices go back okay. up as it were. So, so uh, yeah, we need our, to act fast. Our we? first one, yes. Mm -hmm. so, so if it's anything like the other day, definitely fast. Uh, this one is the steampunk balloons. These are beautiful. They are on a um, ca uh, canvas weight cotton so these are brilliant for uh, things like bags things like interior decor because it's got that little bit more weight to it it's a bit heavier than a probably about twice the weight of something like a um, quilted cotton so really really good for your interior projects and even if you didn't want to use this as a whole there's some really nice designs on here that you could fussy cut out and use as again, maybe patches on things or maybe just layer it up and use them as applique pieces Lots and lots you can do with that one. Can you do the numbers, please? Sorry. I can. Yes, I realise I have a job to do. Nine ninety-nine, and that is a metre. I love your idea of cutting out the elements and uh, perhaps even yeah. using on your mixed media, like you said, uh, with those balloons, beautiful and your steampunk. One hundred percent cotton, and a great price point. Nine ninety-nine zero one three one six. What's very striking that one, isn't it? It is. Very it striking. is really good. This one. I think there's a lot you could do with it, especially putting it with denim. I think it would work Ooh, really, really yeah. well with some denim. That one. I love these. Oh, My brother would love soft. these. He loves giraffes. Does he? Yes. Ah. Well, for, for his birthday, because yeah. he was 40, I got him like an experience to go and feed them. <gasps> no way! However, we've not been able to complete this experience oh. yet because obviously everything got his birthday yeah. was in uh, February and now everything's been oh. locked up. So we're working on that. Yeah. We're trying to get it done before the end of the year now. <laughs> oh. So this is actually a brushed cotton. It is so, so soft. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm just checking the width on it. Yeah, it's a 44, I think, that one. Yeah, two metres by but, 44, oh, yeah. I, I don't... I, it's not my mm. job to read that bit. That's Fiona's <laughs> job. <laughs> it is 44, and it says it on the screen, but not my, I don't read that bit. I just chat. Um, so this is black and white and kind of grey giraffes, but really, really effective. And that kind of giraffe pattern in the gaps between the giraffes very very cute and this is a, a super soft it's a two meter piece that you're getting 
absolutely huge. And I know for a fact that out of, I'm sure it was a, might have been a two metre piece, might have been a metre and a half piece. I made a pair of uh, men's kind of pyjama bottom Ooh, style trousers. Yeah. So you'll easily get that out of here. Right, like a, like a pair of lounge pants kind yes, of thing. Uh, yes, lounging pants. Lounging like pants, I think pockets and everything. call them, yes. Uh, I'll take a He's put a hole in them already. Uh, that's messing What's about. What's he doing though. his lounge pants? I don't know, but he's got a hole in them. <laughs> Say no more. But I'll take a picture of the shark ones. Yes, and then, with that uh, one. Yeah, we don't want to see the hole, thank <laughs> without you. Without the hole. Not from, I've fixed the hole since then. Oh. But uh, let's not concern sister, ourselves with the hole you? and perhaps do some numbers. Right. That will be £11, 2 <laughs> metres by 44 inches. Love the draft theme, 380680. Nearly a quarter of the stock has gone. That's a real bargain, uh, whatever you're making out of that lovely giraffe fleecage. Um, <laughs> nearly a quarter gone, yes, already. already and this gone. is lovely, actually. I, this one might disappear with me. There might be another pair of lounging pants coming. Mm. I might make some for myself. Ooh. Just saying, just sure. Sh short lounge <laughs> pants. Less fabric, some left over. <laughs> Might even get two pairs out of it to me. Um, so <laughs> these two pieces are actually a quilt in cotton, and they are such a big, bright, punchy design. <gasps> and um, they're one metre. Is it a colour choice, this one? It's a colour choice. So you've got the orange, which obviously is this one here. It almost looks like fiery. And I think if mm. you were doing collage quilting pieces, you could cut elements out of these to look like flames. Oh, they look if like the dahlias that Anthony was working with earlier. What kind of flower do you say that is? I'm not not very good on the no. flowers. No, well, so neither I'm am I. Leave just that one to you. At... Um, and yeah. you've got, these are nice big pieces. They're again 44 inch wide, and these are some of Fabric Freedom's own designs that they've had done because mm. they what they do is they design their own kind of fabric ranges for their quilt market. But then what happens is if some are more popular than the others. They may have odd ones left over, and that's why you can have these at such a good price. Right. Beautiful. And are they cotton as well there, Hayley? Yes, yes. yes. Everything uh, we have today is 100% cotton. Fantastic. Beautiful. I, I really like that big design. Uh, like you said, it, mix that in amongst others. You know, if you're doing your quilting, they, they really Just to prove to all the presenters who leave things screwed up, it's yeah. not that hard to fold it and put it back. Well, you say that, Hayley. Just you saying. You say that. Just saying. <laughs> Enough said. She says that, but do you know what I mean? Uh, Mind I you, I'm not reading. I'm not reading numbers at the same time. So well, this is it. And listen to another co two conversations in your ear. Oh, I've got the conversations. <laughs> <but laughs> do you know what? I actually genuinely like the purple and the orange together. Do you? Yeah, I do. I know it's but contrast. The that's thing why I like is, it. you can use more and more. You can chuck all everything at it, yeah. or you can quite keep it quite understated mm. and maybe just put a white with it and let that big pattern do the part talking. Yeah. It's up to you. I like it. I like that fiery orange with the purple. Uh, 999, uh, 076 Choose from the orange or the pink uh, for either of those, and you get a meter. Well, I'm just and kind of standing here. I've yes. just realised it's kind of just standing there. I should there. do that. Sort of have a waft. Have a waft, have a waft. Uh, I want you to mention just a couple of the seven-day saves as well, because I've got this lovely sewing bundle, which ties in beautifully with um, everything that we're talking in terms of sewing and quilting and what have you. It's very pishy posh, isn't it? I mean, oof, you'll be the envy of all the neighbourhood with this. Uh, so we'll start uh, with the largest, because this is a beautiful, it's a round sewing box. Isn't that gorgeous? I it looks it's like, like a tartan. little hat box. Isn't that gorgeous? I know, a little tartan um, sort of top to it. And then, and then you've got the handle there as well. Um, you have a little shuffle. I have a little shuffle. There yeah, we go. Open it up. Shuffle. There's your loops at the side. What you've got, what you've got. I'm going to say, that? what do you think? Uh, what do you think? I was slightly puzzled because obviously that is, is it for me to put something? I mean, what, what do you suppose that uh, bit's there for? Just off the top of your head. I'm not uh, entirely I'm not sure. not entirely sure. No, but well, anyway, all answers on a postcard, please. Um, but you've got that. Uh, and then, obviously, the removable tray for all your compartments, your needles, your threads, and what have you. But oh, I love it. It's got a lovely it's, deep bottom. Is the top quilted? Could yes, that be it a is, pin for your cushion? pins and your needles okay, and what have excellent. you. excellent. Just this bit is throwing me slightly. But anyway, it's there for a reason. Somebody out there will know the answer, and they'll be screaming at the TV now. Uh, but I love that, because if you see that lid going in there, you can just see how deep that bottom is for all your extra odds and ends there. Maybe it's to put your quilting clips and things on. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll go with that. Should we go with that? We'll go with that. Okay, I like that. Okay, done. I like that. So, keep that's, that. that's our beautiful uh, <laughs> our beautiful sewing <laughs> box. Then we've also got our lovely uh, sort of desktop tidy storage, again in this beautiful mild grey. Um, gorgeous. Very, very handsome, isn't it? Very stylish. That wouldn't with... have to be for sewing, though, would it? Well, no, not at all. Fancy desk, 
Pen pot. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, Sneaky very drawer. fancy. I like that material because sometimes people have a bit of a desk in there, you know, which is, doubles up as the bedroom or whatever, and you don't want it all necessarily, your plastics and what have you. So I like that. I think it's very, it could be even like a little trinket storage, could be a bit of jewellery, could be hair bobs, doesn't oh, matter. Hmm. Who am I to dictate what you put in your desktop tidy? Um, or is that, the, and then here we've got also our, our um, what do you call that? I say a little caddy. Little caddy. Caddy. A little caddy. Crafting box caddy, yeah. Well, it's got little um, the elasticated bits oh, there. Oh, elastic yeah. loops. Yeah, so it could be pens, it pens, could be makeup brushes, makeup it could brushes. be anything in there. Yeah, it? I like that idea of the makeup brushes or the odds and ends there. So that again, it matches beautifully. And then we've also got a trinket storage box again, which ties in with the beautiful greys uh, for storing. If all you've your got a, a br uh, not an embroidery, an upholstery needle, one of the hoop needles, mm -hmm. you can even probably um, add some. Yeah. Add oh, some, some, some applique to the top there. Something yeah. personalised. Beautiful. I love that. For whatever, for whatever you want to split it up and, and use it. So each one of these is working out at a mere six ninety nine each, which you know how much sewing boxes are, are not. Usually the price we can see now is twenty seven ninety nine. So that's amazing, or thereabouts. So uh, you're getting all of those for a mere twenty seven ninety nine for twenty eight pounds saving until eight am Sunday when seven eight seven days to savers will change seven three eight one. Zero four. I just want to highlight that, seeing as we're talking all things fabric. Okay, Haley, back to you because we've got a nice we, choice we have, now. We've got, got a lot well. to, to, we've got a lot to get through. Um, so these ones are their mottled blender fabrics, and these are brilliant because they will go with so many different things. So you've got two different options. You've got the one with a little floral print on it. I'm saying print, but it's not really a print. You're getting um, half a meter in each. And it's the floral and spot blenders. Now, these, rather than, as I said, a print, it's more like they've been kind of bleached back out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's almost as if the, the colour is there first and then these are bleached back out. Mm. So you're getting them as pairs. And there are loads of different colourways in this. So this is the kind of grey, blue, steely mm, colour. Steely blue, steely grey, yeah. Then we've got beige. And this one, you know, will go with so many. This is quite a, a, a bluey grey. Bluey grey. And that's called grey, but it beige, is quite a bluey grey. But this beige. one will go with an awful lot of things. And to be honest, the, the um, pattern on the this one looks a lot more pronounced on the screen than it looks um, actually subtler. when you look at it. Yeah. So it's a lot more subtle when you yeah. look at it. It looks a little bit more pronounced on the screen. The next one you've got is the olive green. Mm. If you are going to go for blenders, we always say that um, greens are a, an absolute no-brainer to go for because they'll go with anything. Okay. So if I bring these ones from before across, yeah. they will go with those greens. Mm. Because if you think about in nature, mm -hmm. all the flowers with the green. come with the green leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, in, basically in nature, will go with the green. That's so true, yeah. if you are wanting two completely contrasting fabrics to work together, put a green in the mix that's the way to to get them to work together lovely uh, so you've got the olive green which is the first one we did and then the light green so it's the same in in all of them that little kind of faint floral pattern which just breaks up it's almost like a, um, a batik style background mm. and then there's that really faint almost bleached out print on the top the next you've got two blues there's light blue which is the first one and then the one that's got a little bit more kind of depth to the colour, that one's your sky blue. And then you've got a couple of kind of purple, you've almost got three purples here. Mm. So this Indigo, is the darkest it? of the options and I think yeah. it's dark purple if you look it up on the web. Oh. And then the light purple is the one in the centre here. And then the bluey purple on the end, that's your lilac as well. But even just looking at those together... They look lovely that together. whole set, yeah. you could easily, you know, get a couple of these, two or three of these, and mix and match them up together and mm. end up with an absolutely stunning quilt. And before I forget it, there is a pink one on the end. Oh. There you go. Lovely bright <laughs> pink, pink one on the end. But these would be really easy to just, say, take those three right. and work those three together and make a be absolutely beautiful quilt. Or maybe take some of the, you know, the blues and the purples together. Yeah. Any of these you could mix and match in, even taking that grey in from the end. If I put that across those, mm. you can see that will work. So any of these mixed and matched together 
will work however if you have got a feature fabric that you want to use with them because there's that kind of variation in the color across them all because if i bring the pink one in with the pinks on the end because they've got that kind of mottled variation running through them it will pick up pinks from everywhere i'd so go with the gray in your orange would you that dark gray you started with and that bright pop of the okay, orange hang on. I have to <laughs> Oh, don't think that's like, a camera like that. um, a possibility. But I'll, I'll, I don't think that's a camera possibility, but I'll try. There yeah. you go. <laughs> How's that? Pull it in the middle. I like that. <laughs> don't know what I'm creating, but I like it. It's punchy. It's punchy. Okay, so um, let me pop these back. So these are um, lovely ones for working with anything. They're a really kind of nice, subtle, flexible one that will give you a lot of options. So it's, it's really a stash builder, this. Unless you've got something particular in mind for it, I would say this is an excellent one as a stash builder. And especially at that price where you're getting your two half meters for 9.99 for a quilting weight cotton is if, very, very good. If I want to order, a, say, double mole my order, will now, they cut all to the... all of the um, fabrics which are fabric freedom get cut from the roll. Right. So nothing is cut prior to the show, orders coming in. Once the orders are coming in, then they cut everything from the roll. Right. So yes, if you want to do, say, two of any of these, say you wanted to do the purples, you'd get a full metre of each. Fab. Fantastic. No yeah, worth bearing in mind, especially while we've got these savings. I mean, that's a £5 saving. So I get know. yourself, yeah, before 8 o'clock, before it all goes back up to the original price of £14.99. Yeah, £5 saving there. Um, the busiest there is proving the dark purple, but I, I do like that tonality amongst the purples and the lilacs and the and the blues there. I thought they worked so beautifully together. So do check out your baskets. Yeah, they're beautiful. Uh, okay, what have we got next, Hayley? So these are actually full quilting cotton ranges, mm. and I meant to go and have a look for the see if the quilt was still in the cupboard, but I don't think it was. Oh. I had a bit of a dig about. I couldn't see it. Um, so. These come as a full set. You are getting all five. You're getting a half meter of each. And this is the daisy chain pattern. And now what Fabric Freedom are kind of really well known for, and they do ever so well, is they make complete collections. So they start with their feature fabric. Mm -hmm. And that one has all of the elements on that you'll see throughout the other fabrics. And then they take a limited color palette. So something where it's all always going to match. You're not going to have to go hunting about to find things that go with mm. it. And it, they'll give you all five patterns in the same collection. So that you've got your feature fabric. And then the next one you've got has got that kind of floral patterns that you can see. You can pick up on those wreaths that go around. The, I'm taking the feature fabric with me with these. I'll just put it to the side because then mm. you can see it with all of them. You've got the little uh, vines that are running through the background in here. Mm. You've got the little dots which make up some of these kind of big flowers. And then on the top, you've got those same leaves and sprigs and smaller flowers that you're finding within the insides of the flowers. So everything that you see in the feature fabric is echoed throughout oh. the other four patterns. And that's why it works so well together. And with all of these collections, there's white in them somewhere. Yeah. So by adding just a normal plain white to this, you'll allow those patterns just that little bit of space to kind of uh, just refocus the eye so yeah. it just get a little bit of space for them to breathe so they can kind of stand on their own two feet rather than being mixed in with everything else mm -hmm. so there is a red option and the green option is already gone sold out yeah but you know what the red option is my favorite so there you oh, go I, I think that, i think i prefer the green one you're going with the green you see i immediately went for that red because i love that feature fabric i thought that the color and the pattern on that is beautiful really caught my eye i'm not going to move it because right. otherwise i'll be left with a gap okay but the green one's gone but you can still get the daisy chain fabric pack and i'm sure you agree with me for an amazing price there of 19.99 that's five half meters and being a happy hour deal only till eight o'clock 32 pounds saving now we know the green ones already sold out so well done to you for shopping ahead in the first 20 minutes two two five three seven seven big, well, that's an amazing price yeah for isn't cotton, it because you're getting five half meters there so that's four pound per half meter eight pounds per meter if it was a total bit tremendous Mass. Poplin now. <laughs> Tell me about poplin. What do we mean when we say poplin, Hayley? Okay, so poplin is what you'd class as a, a shirting material. So if you've ever bought uh, a shirt, then that kind of lighter weight uh, cotton fabric is a poplin. Now you can absolutely still quilt with this. You can do all of your applique with it. You can still do all of your projects. And this that we've got today is not a choice. 
you are getting all three. Now, I know that the details may need a slight tweak on there um, because it is actually a metre by 112 centimetres that you're getting, not 110. Okay. We found this typo has appeared on, for some reason, lots yeah. of things, but I'd rather correct it now. Okay. Uh, but you do not have to choose. You are getting all three. Wow. So that you're price. getting the grey background with the pink roses on. You're getting the blue background with the kind of almost coral and red coloured mm. ones on. And the last one you're getting is that kind of... It's, it's a little bit darker than a cream. It's more towards an oatmeal. Yeah. Kind of beige. It's not quite as dark as beige, though. Don't know where we're going in the middle yeah. there. It's very uh, and vintage that's got the blue tea rooms. On. What would you do with these, Hayley? They're oh, gorgeous. Well, these, now, these are coming as metre pieces. Oh, thanks, Lottie. She magically fixed it. Um, <laughs> oh, she is oh, magic. She could. Um, so, these are coming as metre pieces. Now, because they're from Perfect Occasions, which is a kind of mm, relation of a fabric freedom, they uh, are already pre-cut these ones so unfortunately you cannot get these as continuous pieces but if you do order multiples you know you can still do bigger projects yeah. with them it just yeah. won't be in a continuous piece and um, with these I think there's a, a meter is going to be borderline for a top but even it, like a small kind of cami top mm. you'd easily get out of this pretty. It'd yeah. be really, really pretty. So those those lovely headbands that Leone wears as well. Any, any yeah, you've got left absolutely. over? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with a English paper piecing as well. I prefer Ooh. to use uh, poplin for English paper piecing because when you fold it around the shapes, you get a much tighter, sharper edge. Oh. And and especially if you haven't left yourself huge seam allowances, the poplin uh, frays a little bit less than the quilting cotton. So I would definitely say these are a must-have. And if you saw the previous hour that we did at oh there they are at uh, three o'clock we actually colored some of these in with some of the gold pens the oh. gold and silver zebra pens so you can see i've got a couple of random sparkly ones in there as well so they would work you know you can embellish these yeah. now it doesn't have to be pens that you do that with no, it, it could always be just a little bit of stitching yeah, that really. you are just to add a little bit of sparkle to them and um, but there's lots of options i think with this and english paper piecing they're perfect for because you could fussy cut those roses out so you've mm. got one on each piece and just to show you again you can fold things up well while still you need years of training for that Hayley. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have of training a, i think yeah i think i'm gonna once we're out in a, a meeting room together yeah i think i'll, I'll, have make to, it, I'll go on I'll your make training course. course thank yes. you we can't Help be near me. each other no well, I can, I, you can just direct me from afar it's all right we'll get big bits of fabric it's at least two meters apart it's i'll fine. have the training <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be perfect next time perfect uh, that's why I'm over here by the pod safety um, now nearly a quarter of the stock has gone but you can see why because those fabrics they, the, the, the print the images on them they just really pop they're so vibrant uh, just beautiful and such a great price as well 13 pounds 97 204707 and that is a happy hour deal that'll end at eight o'clock uh, we've got a lovely charm pack now tell me about excellent your charm number pack. reading Excellent number reading. Oh, there we go. Years of practice. Years of training, Hayley. It, it must be. Years oh, we'll do, of training. We'll do a training swap then. Yes, OK, then. I'll, we'll, I'll teach you some folding. And, and you can you teach me numbers. to read numbers. <laughs> <laughs> do you think she's been a little bit I can add them up. Oh, no. no. I'm not at all. I, I really do want to learn how to read the numbers out. I'm scared she of the numbers. She knows I can't fold fabric. Have you seen the shows? <laughs> I do want to learn. It's fine. So this is... I'm going to take the... Uh, the thing off so we can see the patterns properly so this is the um oriental this is beautiful this oh, one because yeah. I, I know we've done this one before and yeah. i'm surprised they've still got some left mm. because it's one of their quilt collections and it's done exactly the same way as we mentioned with the um daisy chain one earlier so there's your feature fabric that's got the biggest print and all of the elements that you'll see throughout the other ones so i'll pop that there and then that's the next one that you can see the little the same flowers as we saw in the first one then we've got the little tiny fans, and now all of these have got gold on them as well, which usually that would make a, a charm pack a lot more expensive. You've got your blender fabric in there as well, and that's like a mottled finish. So if I just carefully stack these back up on here and try not to drop it. Uh, ah, there we go. <laughs> Um, so you can see how nicely they all work together and that 
extra added kind of gold on all of oh, those yeah. that's a completely separate process so you've got to print everything first yeah. then you've got to send it back through to put all the kind of gold effect on there as well and all the foiling so that usually I think 14.99 for that is cheap yeah. for a John Park especially a... with all the the foiling on there so I would say that usually would be more than that because uh, so I like to get it for 10 pounds yeah is excellent and in two weeks time we have something coming out with the Fabazine, the new one, mm -hmm. which uses charm packs, and this would be absolutely perfect for it. Brilliant. I'll bear that in mind. So Two weeks bear that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> like you, Hayley, I've seen that charm pack before, and I, I was besotted by the, the gold. I think this is the, like, uh, the very last that they've got, because yeah. there was a blue one. Yes, there was. And I think there was another colour as well. Yeah. But um, I don't know why this is the last one to no. go, because it's a really well, it's... pretty bonus here for the viewers but uh, that gold almost looks like it has been embroidered on because it's just so rich on the fabric but well, we're already it. limited. You don't necessarily have to use it to make a whole quilt. No. Now, you, if you were going to sew this all together you'd get about a metre square mm. roughly if you just sewed the whole thing together because okay. there are I believe 42. 42 yeah. Mm. Yeah but we're limited Hayley so it's first come first well, served on that. I'll put it down then shall I? Yeah 9.99 okay. I don't think it'll be there much longer 906449 get it while you can and remember to check out your baskets. Um, I'm just going to mention another seven-day saver before we return back to our Hayley. Um, so this is, um, a, I'm not, cross-sticks fabric, yeah, basically. And I, I seem to have two colourways. Uh, I've got the ice white and I've got the off-white. And you are getting both. They're four, ah. four by 14. Was this Ada? a question before about four by 14? Yes. Okay, so it's uh, four pieces. Yeah. And it's 14 count. It's, it's the oh. way it's laid out. It's not very clear. So you are getting four pieces of 14 count Ada. 14 count means you've got 14 squares yeah. per inch ah. across and 14 squares per inch down. Yes. Okay. So now does that make more sense? It does. It's a shame that they're going to kind of run out uh, in a day and you've been worrying, wondering about this for <laughs> a week now. <laughs> But there you go, that's what it means. There we go, for our cross-stitching projects. Yes, because I've seen them with the different by 14 counts. 14 is a fairly yeah. common... Is it? Is that so, usually yeah. the, the average? Yeah, it's is a fairly it, common one to use. Oh, fantastic. So we've got four of the uh, fat quarters in the white and four in the off-white. So four of each and the 14-inch squares. Not a choice, you're getting both of those. 9.99 or 151532. Brilliant. Great saver there as well. £15 saving. Just want to mention some magazines very briefly and uh, knitting and crocheting. I don't wish, wish to leave anybody out of this in terms of your sewing and your fabrics. This is the Knitting Magazine Trio Crochet Now and Knit uh, Now and your crochet and knitting. So, wow, we've got it all covered there. It looks like you get some yarn in there as well, some needles. Um, you get the hooks as well, stitch markers, Ooh, lots of projects there, lots of goodies there to keep you busy. £10.50 saving there. Again, 8 o'clock Sunday, that will change to another seven-day saver, £13.47. Busy on the phone lines, don't forget to check out, your, check out your baskets and you'll love our, our little sewing set and trinket box caddy set here as well. Don't forget that's another seven-day seven saver as well. Well, it is a happy hour, Fabric Freedom Hour, so let's be aware of those price points going up at 8 o'clock and let's see what's still remaining. Well, if there's anything to left. Hayley, I know, we've already had a sellout, haven't we? Left. Okay, so uh, we'll do them all again. So this first one is the Steampunk Canvas. Now, this one super super cute lots you can do with it because it's slightly heavier weight so great for upholstery great for uh maybe i think denim with this would be absolutely Ooh, stunning before, maybe a bag yeah. and just fussy cutting out Ooh, some of the yeah. balloons and things so this one and um, i really really like i think it's a it's a good kind of it's a pencil cases as well that's Ooh, what keeps that's popping nice into idea. my head yeah the drawstring pencil bags. cases yeah absolutely anything Rachel it's 44 things. inches wide and it's a meter piece that you're getting and this one because it's fabric freedom will be coming cut as a continuous piece if you order multiples yes maybe anything in the office i'm not saying it's, it's gender specific but you know sometimes when we are struggling for uh, the male side of the family in terms of you know fabrics and what have you um that is beautiful isn't it really I like mean, that it's, it is a canvas and yeah. it's kind of thick enough that I would say, we were talking about lounging pants, yeah. if you didn't want the lounging pants in the fluffy, then I would say that would be a really good weight for trousers, because sometimes the poplins and things could be a little bit too light for right. that, yeah. but this would be a, a good weight for that as well. Christine's got her eye on it for curtains in a camper van. 
Camper van curtains, definitely. Yeah, camper van curtains, screaming out camper van curtains to me, that is. Uh, <laughs> so, 9990131641. Some weird things screaming out in your head today. Well, this is the way my brain works, Hayley. You know me now. Yes. There's all sorts going on in there. Yes. She like, she's after boxes at the minute. It's I am weird. after boxes, but I can't tell you what she said in response to that. <laughs> because it's uh, not after nine o'clock, the watershed. No. <laughs> I, Shall we talk giraffes? Yeah, let's. <laughs> let's dig ourselves. There's a lot of digging myself out of holes tonight. I think isn't we're there? in a huge pit, <laughs> quite frankly, now. I'm making the holes, so it's my own fault. <laughs> um, so, this is a brushed cotton. Now, by brushed cotton, it's ex essentially exactly the same weight as this kind of fabric here, your quilted cotton. But to create that kind of brushed effect, all they do is they print it and then they mm. literally just take little kind of combs to it. Oh. We did it. Um, she did it a while ago. I had some, for some reason, I had a load of um, staples, you know, staple gun staples, yes. the really solid ones. Yeah. I had a load of those in my bag, so I, I think I, it was on Good Morning Hachanda. Okay. And I came in and took a fabric that was just like this, right. and then used the staple gun staples to just rub it back and forward, oh and you could see it starting to, to fluff, fluff up, up, and it felt exactly the same. I had and no that's idea. all they do to ah. make it. They think some brush cotton is some kind of, it's got poly cotton in, it's got polyester in, it's like a fleece. It's not. It's just a normal woven fabric, exactly the same as a normal cotton, but, but they brushed. literally just put it through well, machines to bring the fibres up. Mm. And, and make it softness. brushed cotton. Well, there and you go. It, but because it traps that little bit of air, it feels, if you feel the two of them, yeah. it feels warm. Yes, it does. And it is just, it's lovely to work with. Mm. It's exactly the same to work with as normal cotton. And um, this is, I like this one. Yeah. Softy, it's, softy. I like this one. I like the pattern as well, though. I and think it's a really nice pattern. I like the fact that the gaps, they filled in with, with the giraffe pattern. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And I've got to say, over half the stock's gone. We're halfway through the show. Over half the stock has gone because you're getting it at 50% of the and price, though. This is a two-metre piece, I remember. Exactly. It's yes. huge. Um, and also, it would be, although it's going to be a kind of a, a quite a large pattern match on this, because obviously you're, you're kind of travelling between here and then down the bottom. Let me try and mm -hmm. find another one. That one and there. Yeah. So it's quite a large pattern match, but I think because that background bit is so busy... You You'll kind of it. get away with it yeah. if you're making kind of trousers and things because yeah. you can see it's quite a large pattern match on that one. Beautiful. And two metres, like you said, so yeah, yeah, plenty to get away with there. Uh, £11, <laughs> 380680. If it sells out, then what I'm thinking is, yeah. if it sells out, then they maybe don't need this sample piece. And then and I can make some more trousers. Pants. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Let's sell out before the end of the show. Well, here's a sharks. He's got the shark trousers. Yeah. So I'm, I might make myself some giraffes because I've got loads of time to do this, haven't I? Well, yeah, because you, you're, you're never around, are you? You're, you're never so, around. You're never busy sewing in a room somewhere <laughs> here at Chanda Towers. You're, you know, no, never. All the time well, in the you world, saw, you, you saw it last weekend, didn't you, leisure. when it was just destroyed. <laughs> Has that office no. recovered yet? Have you put yeah, it back it together has. again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. I was saying because we've got us all separate at the minute and we're in separate dressing rooms uh, or separate rooms. Um, uh, there was one, and the table was miles away from the plug sockets. Yeah. So then I moved all the chairs and tables around because I was in there for like two or three days, and there was stuff everywhere. I mean, it was a but what about the office where you went zone, rummaging through it like a whirling dervish? Where? Because oh, you, oh, you did your big clear <laughs> well, out. That's clear the office around. I'm talking about. Oh no! I, I thought the you meant the like one here that I kind of no, came in destroyed. Like for oh no! You'd been through it. Well, most Mike and of it's back together. It. Most of it. Oh. The, the actual office where I'm supposed to be, that's, uh, that's no chance. Bomb. Bomb site. Yeah. Anyway. It's all right, though, because the other half's coming up this week, so hopefully oh, he'll have me tidy up. <laughs> Not the best oh, at tidying. Dude, that's how to keep a relationship alive, viewers. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, <laughs> who's, the, who's the tidy one out of you in Scott, then? Ooh. Who's the tidier? Neither of you. It's just a mess. <laughs> just I am trying to be mess. honest. Uh, do you know what it is? And I think this is why we get on so well. Because you leave gubbins about, but nobody wants you to touch the gubbins because it an, an it's a gubbins that you'll come back to. Okay. And it drives me around the twist if someone's moved that gubbins because two days later, where's that thing where's I was looking gubbins? for? Because I left. Yeah. So he's quite, he's quite good at leaving the gubbins, as am I. But eventually the gubbins needs tidying up. Yes. So I don't know. That's a hard one to call. So you're both about the same level of mess. Of oh, gubbins mess. Yeah. Okay. See, I'll have a sudden whip round and tidy up. And he'll do the same. Suddenly he'll have a big purge. Okay. Yeah. Now in, in ours, Matt's the tidier one. Yeah. 
He'll, he'll leave it for a while, yeah. and then he'll have that big purge. Yeah. But um, I'll be the one that picks up stuff, like the kids' stuff all the time. You know, oh. The skull just walk past it. Just walk past leave it. it. Yeah. You left it there. You'll pick it up. <laughs> doesn't matter who left it there. Just, just like, walk past it. Anyway. Anyway, sorry, we got well distracted there. Uh, oh. Oh, just the pink left now. Right. Loving the orange. I shall remove the orange. See uh, another cell out there. Backstage Ben, can you catch? There and then I shall fix it with this one. Unfolding and folding. Ooh. Two, two that's elements two courses. to the course. <laughs> that's, a, that's a part two course. <laughs> two, uh, two modules to the Two yeah, modules the to this course. course. <laughs> I, need to, I need to sign up I'm now. I'm sure we'll get some spaces. more modules as we work <laughs> our way down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this one is the pink fabric. It's the really big, large statement flowers. This is quilting cotton. So it's a really, really nice weight. And I think even this just with white, the other option you've got with something like this is to just throw all sorts of different pinks at it just go Ooh. for all of the pinks yeah and just go kind of crazy beautiful i do like that pattern the more i look at it i just think it's so it's so bold and bright and like you said i would use elements of it i do like the idea of your your, your within quilts do you know what i mean and uh, just yeah well use... because it's quite a large pattern yeah. this, i would probably say it's not ideal for paper piecing because yeah. unless you're using quite big um hexagons yeah. maybe a two inch then it'd be fine but if you're just kind of getting little half flowers it's probably not quite as good but then again maybe sometimes that is a good thing because um if you're looking for uh, something that's got a pattern to it but mm. not a really obvious pattern then using this as bindings and edgings and things where you can just see flecks of the different pinks mm. may work for you as well yeah. but it's got quite a big bold pattern so you can do kind of bigger blocks and things with this and yeah. it will look quite striking gorgeous i love it absolutely love it and the, the orange is gone so now we have the beautiful pink there 9.99 and you are getting one meter there and it can be cut to the larger if you want to double that up zero seven six nine seven seven uh <laughs> shall i just quickly mention my yeah, storage because i like a bit of storage me uh, so this is a, this helping. is brilliant saving. We have got a text desk tidy that is a beautiful material desk tidy, especially if you are using uh, doubling up the office as a bedroom or anything like that, or you're just thinking, actually, I don't want plastic, I don't want cardboard, I don't want. Um, I, I, I like the fabric feel. It could be just a jewellery tidy, um, and a sort of a quality luxury feel to it. A tidy anywhere in the house, but you've got that little open drawer there as well. Yeah, exactly. Him or her. Beautiful, I like that, and you've got that little pull tab there to pull that out. So, for whatever so you're storing and tidying in there, oh, we've got the large stuff here with that beautiful, um, gorgeous sort of tartan in the grey and the purple. There, it's you a have whopper. it's a it is a whopper. A little press stud there, open that out. We decided we're going to put our quilting clips on this because we couldn't decide what else. It probably has a proper function. I know, and I thought, well, let's have because you're not going to stuff something quite or a bit of material, maybe folded material. Yeah, because but then wouldn't it just flop that out? In there. Pins, I don't know. Maybe it's just a... Yeah, maybe some fat quarters, I don't know. They'd probably just flop out, though. We're still undecided. We're not sold. But then you've got the little compartments there, so you don't actually need but to worry about that. if you put something big in, then the, it's going to get in the way of the tray. Yeah, maybe it's just for extra storage of pins that you can see. I'm going to go... The ones I'm, underneath. I'm sticking with my quilting yeah, clips. Yeah, I'll stick with the quilting clips. Yeah. Then you've got the tray, that you, so you can see everything in there. I like that, actually, because it's got a lovely deep base, it as we said earlier. It feels like it should be on the other side as a handle. But hey? there's already a handle, isn't there? No, it's, it's just the... the, 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 the oh, it's no, got the not lip, that. Lip there. I'm, I'm still on about the strap. Oh, I see. Oh, you've, It no. feels like it should be on the other side as a handle. I don't, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not going to lose sleep about uh, it. I, I think uh, answer's on a postcard. Get a Yes, in. please, before the end of the show. What, 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 what would you, you use your strap I'll be very honest. No idea. But I like that as well, because that's clear. I can see what's in the bottom. Sometimes the trays in the bottom aren't clear, so I, I like that. So it's a small feature, but I think it's the attention to detail. Oh, there is, is so a handle beautiful. on the top, look. Yeah, there is a handle on the top. Oh. So it can carry it and go. So I've no idea what that little bit in there. Then you've got what's your caddy. What's strap for? She's going to lose sleep on this. Oh, um, hang on. Yeah? If you lift it up, yeah. can you put the tray in the strap? I don't Cause think... Because it's got it, no. those two flat sides. No, it's not wide enough, darling. Oh, sad face. Close. It was, it was a good thought. Now it just looks like a bodrum. Irish musical okay. instrument. Anyway. I'll keep um, thinking. Keep thinking. 
answers on a postcard, please. Please put us out on misery before eight o'clock. Um, and then you've got the caddy there, and we can you've got you can pull the pens. I love Haley's idea of makeup brushes. Um, could be needles. All sorts. Anything really. It's really up to you. Nice tidy caddy there that matches that beautiful desk tidy. And then a trinket box again, which ties in. You could embroider that, as, as Haley said. Personalise it. Lovely wooden caddy box there as well. Open it up for any of your keepsakes. Now, individually. The pen pot, the disc, this on its own is 14.99, I do believe, on the website, 14.99 on its own. So collectively, you're, you're saving 27, 28 pounds, and they're working out 6.99 each, not 14.99, 6.99 each. I don't know if you've seen the prices of the large sewing boxes. Separate them, give them as gifts, yeah, indeed. Oh, now, somebody else can wonder what that's for. Uh, somebody for. else can go, well, what is that for? And you just have to go, ah, I'll leave that with you in the know, in You'll the know. You'll have to work can... it out. You work it out and I'll tell you if you're right. I haven't got it. Anyway, somebody can tell us. Oh, oh, what so if you were storing your, in your sewing, sewing box, box, your jewellery maybe, you're thinking of a jewellery box maybe, and tying your necklaces or bracelets around. Maybe, but they'll all sort of maybe gather down there. I don't know. We're clutching at straws Don't now. Put it clutching there straws. and let it have a function. Please tell us, studio, e email us studio at hachanda.com or um, just, just tell us. <laughs> or just random guesses. I'm, I'm quite happy with random I, guesses I'd tonight. Quite like, what would you Anybody use wants it to for? join in? Random guesses? I'm happy to take them. Uh, okay, so these are the blenders and uh, these come as half a metre of each. So you're getting half a metre in your flowers and you're getting half a metre in your spot as well. And these are great ones for working with any product. Even great ones just picking two or three and working them together because a lot of these colours, all of those pinks and purples and blues will go together beautifully. The greens will go with anything because, as we've said, in nature, everything comes with a bit of green. Um, that's a really nice neutral kind of stony beige colour. And the grey one as well. All of these. You, I think you could literally throw darts at this and pick any three and they would work together. I agree. I Beautiful. have no darts. I'm not going to throw them. I have no darts. <laughs> 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 so the colour options, we'll go through them properly, are grey which is this one in the end. And it's a quite nice steely grey. It's got mm. quite a, nice, a lot of kind of blue elements to that. The next one you've got is beige. And this one looks far more striking on the screen. It looks a lot more subtle uh, in real life, especially those dots. Then you've got the olive. The next one is light green. And then we've got light blue. And the one next to it, there's not a lot in this, but the sky blue's got a slightly warmer blue to it. Mm. And then you've got your dot, this is classed as dark purple, but um, it, it's, it's not like a um, chocolate box purple. No, no. It's much, much softer than that. And then you've got the light purple, just got a little bit of a kind of pink tone mm. to it, so that'll go really well with the pink one and show you in a second. Lilac, that's your more kind of grey, bluey mm. purple, and again, looks far more striking there on the screen than it does uh, in real life. It looks a lot more subtle in real life. And then the last one you've got is the pink one. Lovely. And all of these, I would say you could pick and mix any of these together. I mm. know they're coming as sets, but if you went for two or three, you'd easily have a quilt here without having to do anything, yeah. basically. You could pick any three, and I would say they'd go together. Your spot blenders uh, remind me of sort of snowy, snowy scapes if yeah, you're doing any sort almost. of Christmassy projects. So maybe projects. if you were doing that, you could have a kind of stormy one yeah. with the dark grey there, or maybe Snowfall, a of. nice cold one with the light blue. Or oh. Olive that green's one. taking sunny, the lead. Snowy, snowy yeah. day. Snow, very one. snowy day, yeah. <laughs> the olive Snow green now has taken the front, front runner. It was, oh, it was the, the purple one. earlier, yes. yeah. So there's that, lots yeah. of different options with these, and they're a great one just to kind of um, make a fabric go a little bit further. Again, throw a white in there as well. Yes, that's and you've true. got an automatic quilt. 
Yeah, fantastic. Brilliant price point there, five pounds saving. Can be cut to the extra length there if you want to double that length. If you look at these on the web, you can choose your colours. There's the olive green proving the most popular at the moment. Could change before the end of the hour. Nine ninety nine. add that to your basket or double up your order if you'd like uh, to a uh, whole full meter of each 100% cotton don't forget but don't forget in about 15 minutes that price will revert back to 14.99 so if you've got your fabric pro projects in mind you've been inspired by a lovely Haley, uh, then please order now and check out your baskets because we've had some sellouts as well talking of sellouts our daisy chain in the the, the beautiful green sold out but we've still got my favorite still got the red yeah, one in the, the daisy red. chain um, there are five fabrics in this and this is a full collection that fabric freedom do this one in the middle, that's your feature fabric. So that's your main one. You'll see elements of this running throughout all of the other ones. And all the colours will match exactly because it's designed as a collection. Um, so it's designed to have lots of the same colours and the same patterns running through everything. So this is a, it's essentially a kind of quilt in a box. All you have to do, everything will match. You don't need to find anything to match anything. You can just get cutting and going straight away with that one. Fantastic. In terms of uh, quilt making, yeah, how much, I mean, all of that material there, five by oh, half meters. Using all five together yeah. to make a quilt. Okay. So um, what you're going to have to remember is you're going to lose a certain amount every time you cut them. Because every time you cut them, and especially if you're using smaller pieces, you're going to lose half an inch off all the way around. Yeah, kind yeah. Of thing. So, well, half an inch, a quarter inch off all the way around, yeah. half an inch off each side. So um, you need to kind of factor that in. So you've got five half meters which is two and a half meters of fabric in total i would say you're going to lose at least one of those mm -hmm. to your seam allowances right so i would say roughly about a meter and a meter and a half by a meter 20 ish right. is probably what you'll end up with there's plenty of color in there but to add to if you're going to make you know if you're going to make quite small blocks that will go down a bit mm -hmm. if you're going to make uh, quite big blocks and to have less cutting then that will go up a little bit but you've got two and a half meters in total there so uh, there's going to be plenty yes yeah and for 19.99 look at that saving 32 but i do love that sort of flowery one that that one there with in this pink one? purple yeah i think it's so striking i absolutely adore it i was drawn to it straight away i just love it's sort of licorice you colors like, uh, it seems to be the reds and the oranges just and the bold yes i like bold i'm embracing bright bold colors in the old age oh yes okay. The old age. In my dotage. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't look that old. I know, I've been in my funeral black all day. I have to wear the jacket. It's like the Antarctic in here, that's why. Yes, they do like a bit of air con in here, they don't do. they? do. You know, normally I've got my yellow jacket on. or Well, yeah. I've been wearing jackets because I'm so cold, but, um, yeah. you know. And it looks especially fetching with the hoodie over the posh top earlier. That's how I was going around earlier. Yeah. Uh, we were the both cold. rolling around like that. Yes, posh top, hoodie. <laughs> Absolutely. In case I slobber dobber my dinner down my chest, that's not going to look well, good that's it. on that's TV. That's the other thing. If you're, if you're eating, you've got to put your, your scruffy ones Absolutely. on over the top. Not scruffies, but you know. You can guarantee. You've got to put something you can slop on. A bit of balsamic, it'll go straight down there. Straight down that white bit down the middle. Right down there. Yeah. yeah. That'd look gorgeous on TV, that would, wouldn't it? Uh, so our daisy chain. <laughs> smashed straight in the middle. The baby. <laughs> £32 saving there, £19.99 uh, for another 14 minutes. So please don't miss out. Two, two, I five, three, seven, seven. I have the solution. Just Go clip on. the mic on it. Whatever yeah. you've kind of slopped, just yeah. clip the mic cover on it. it. That, it'll that, look, little, it'll that look little thin streak yeah. of wire will cover the big slob no, of no, no, balsamic. The, the whole microphone bit, just, just right in the middle, bang, done. <laughs> oh, great, great news. I had some oh. mystery strats suggestions. Go for it. Maria said the same as lottie patterns but how but it, surely they would just flop out well you see there's not a lot of room in terms of depth with that lidage well you that's the, the other the, thing i was concerned but about if that's out then then it doesn't matter it's irrelevant but thank you maria i think it's a great suggestion okay but uh who said that darling gaz said heat erasable pens clip them on oh yeah you could clip pens uh, on there yeah, maybe it depends on how you turn the tray as to what you can fit in. Because, can you see there? There's flat edges can. on the tray, isn't there? There is, a, there is a dip there in the middle. This is fascinating TV, isn't it? <laughs> um, you see, that one's straight. But here, add into oh. the mystery, can you see the dippage? I see the that's dippage. That's right where that would fall down. So whether that's just to allow a little bit of something to... 
Giving us a clue there. What do we think, everybody? Dippage. Anyway. So I know that Lottie is looking for this desperately just, on oh, the well, internet exactly. while we are trying to work out what this strap does. But in doing Great so, she's me. found some uh, some very good prices yeah, that 20 pounds, uh, she's seen this make these prices look even better. £20, £14.99. So those two alone <laughs> should be £34.99. But and she still doesn't know what the strap's for. So we can find you loads of prices for what they are all individually. Nobody knows what this is for, but I'm loving your suggestions. Keep them coming. And what then? The dippage. It's all a mystery. All well, she's, she's now threatening to email Core Bond and ask them. Which uh, already has. Got like already ten has. minutes, mate. I, I, I don't think you're going to get Solve a response. Solve the mystery. It's Friday night. Oh. It's unlikely that you'll get a response in time. Do you know what? <laughs> it's one for Vera to solve or something, isn't it? Vera. Some program on the TV. My man watches, isn't it? Some detective, oh, isn't she? Vera. It drives me mad, though. <laughs> hey? The accents are dreadful. It oh, drives I, I don't I watch it. Watch I've it. never watched it, but I just know oh, it's on. It drives me mad. But Brenda Blethyn's the actress. She's brilliant. Is the accent awful? Yes. Well, no, not so, oh, Where no, are they supposed they, to be they from? Are, well, if you have an aunt, they're always outside my house, getting in the way. Where do they film? Where, where you, my neck of the woods. Oh. Literally, I've had them on my doorstep filming, and it's well annoying. You can't get parked at the best of times without Vera rocking up. Do you know when you wish you, you wish <laughs> anyway, you said something? Sorry, no ranting about Vera. Should, Should have just said possibly talk about or some midsummer, fabrics. Midsummer Nights. Anyway, sorry. for those of you who love it, Vera with its quality accents and it, it's a fine program. It's just the, the accents and the parking. You. Your neighbourhood must be awful there. Vera's always there. Do you know she what is, I mean? She's, she's always kicking about. Where Hayley lives. She's just always <laughs> kicking about. Just Brenda walking past your front room when you're not looking. Anyway. <laughs> it's got weird for you. It took quite a while this time, though. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. nearly at the end and it's got weird rather than right at the beginning. <laughs> so We warmed up to it, Hayley. Oh, we warmed up to it. Do, do you know what? <laughs> this lovely fabric, but we had a weird one with Adam as well. We went all Jessica Fletcher in that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Murder a she wrote. Yeah. Oh, he's just shown his age now, isn't he? Because we, he was modelling these. Current. It was a, it was another Fabric Freedom product that he was u using, and he was wrapping it round, and he looked like Jessica Fletcher from Murder She Wrote. And then we wondered if um, we could. Angela if Lansbury. Angela Lansbury had a yeah. Twitter account. Well, she's still alive, God love her. Yes, I know. Yeah. 94, I found that out. Crikey. And has a house in Ireland, as well as But she was in that late, la, la, la Mary Poppins, the last movie, wasn't she? She's a little cameo at yeah. the end. And she was in <laughs> Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Oh, yeah, Bed that was it. Ages ago. Yeah, Excellent. brilliant. Right, fabric. Goggle fabric. Flowery. Before. Goggle box fabric. <laughs> Flowery fabric. Does anybody know what the strap's for yet? No. no. Flowery fabric. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is, get, is um, you're getting all three. So, these are a poplin weight, and you're getting the grey background with the pink flowers. You are getting the blue background with those corally red flowers, and you're getting the uh, beigey oatmeal background with the blue flowers. And you don't have to pick, you're getting all three. Which is great. They're so distinctive and striking, aren't they? I do, all I keep thinking is vintage tea rooms. Yeah, it's really got that kind of feel about it, hasn't it? I like them. Okay. Beautiful. So, I love them. The, 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 the images really pop. Really pretty. Beautiful. I've done, I'm doing some jiggery pokery with the charm pack because I just have want to got separate. Any left? <gasps> I'm amazed we've got any left, but maybe I frightened everybody. We have got limited stock available, so you can still get this in the next 10 minutes or so. So I've done some jiggery pokery, just put the light ones in between the dark ones so you can maybe see the patterns a little bit more clearly. So, as with all the Fabric Freedom quilting collections, you've got your feature one. and all of this collection has got a huge amount of foiling on every set all, all four apart from the blender that's the only one without any foiling on but you've got foiling on all of these and that usually adds a lot to the price of the fabric and a lot yeah. of extra time to the process as well so that's where some so of the cost comes from it's a secondary I'm process going to give it said. a wiggle so you can see some of the foiling and try not to drop everything it's very pretty isn't it <laughs> Next like time Vera's outside my house, I'm going to take a picture and show you because I know you don't believe it. You'll get done for harassment. Um, <laughs> well, she should get done for harassment. She's always in the way. She's stalking. She's stalking. No, uh, Brenda Blethyn's a lovely lady and uh, it's, it's not the opinion of a chanda. It's just me having a rant because she's outside my house. 
<laughs> oh, no, not to mention Vera again. I was just trying to think of somebody that was on TV that was a detective. Um, <laughs> a bit more current than uh, Angela Lansbury. Um, <laughs> yes. Sherlock, maybe? Yeah. Oh, don't mind him. That's or fine. Kojak, that's, that's too long He's, ago. He doesn't come park outside my house. Who? It's fine. Who? <laughs> Oh, sold out of the charm pack. Right, so there's no, no point in putting it back nice and neatly no, then. No point, it's gone. Nine, nine, it's gone. <sighs> um, oh, my cross stitch fabric. Yes, me Ada. Ada, four of these in either colour. You are getting both in the white and the off white. And as I've been informed by Hayley, it is a fat quarter, but there is 14 uh, counts or squares, yes, I should 14, say. 14 the, uh, squares per inch. inch. So um, what you can, uh, that, that would read. Better. I know there's not enough space, but it would read better if it said 14 count rather than four times 14 count. Ah, uh, 14 yeah. count. Yeah, it's 14 just that count you get is four what you're after. Cream and that means there are 14 squares per inch per width, inch. and that's quite a common size for um, cross, -stitch. cross stitch. So if you get patterns, it usually says on the pattern what um, uh, kind of count you need to work yes. on. But if you work on a slightly larger or a slightly smaller count, all that will do is make your image slightly bigger or slightly oh. smaller. It won't actually change the image itself. Fantastic. Thank you, Hayley. Uh, you have uh, minutes now to just check out your baskets. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hayley. Thank you for all your help. Lovely to have a chat about Vera. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you got it off your chest. I'm so sorry, sorry we couldn't solve the problem of, you know, what was the strap about, but... There you go, it's one of life's mysteries. Um, when are you with us again, honey? Tomorrow morning. Oh. I've got a double hander with <gasps> Joe Ward. Hey! We're lovely. doing some bags. Uh, we're doing some uh, MDF bags, but some sewing and some other shenanigans. Great. What time shenanigans at what time? Oh, nine. Let's hope so. Ten. Something like that. Fantastic. Well, we will return to the Pentart One Day Special now with Yanis. And then Welcome to the Weekend will follow. And then we will repeat our Pentart One Day Special with the lovely Leonie. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda. now shipping again to you out in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom Member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanga. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. 
We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Herchanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Herchanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry all. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hello and welcome. Second hour of the one day special. And we had a really busy hour the first time. So um, if there is something you want, you know what to do, check your baskets out. Um, do get ahead of us as well, because a lot of these are available individually. We have had some sellouts individually. So some of them, and I'll tell you which ones, but some of them are now only available in the one day special. Now the one day special from Pentart. Um, Pentart are cool. They produce so many incredible products. And what I love about Pentart, it's a family run business over in Budapest and they really are very passionate about the, the products and you know bringing new things to the market and the products are good quality. I mean you see a lot of people use Pentart, obviously Stamperia linked to Pentart, you've got um, LeBlanche who uses a lot of Pentart, uh, we have our own Barbara, she has um, a lot of Pentart under her umbrella as well so they're a company that are really trusted by a lot of people that you see um, on our fabulous channel um, and me Definitely for one. I'm a massive fan of Penta. I love them just because there's so many things that they do. The thing is with them, and uh, this is something I've got a horrendous memory. So the, you, when you've got a lot of products, you do need to research because they do so many things. You know, the different um, surfaces they'll go on. You know, the different techniques you can do with each one. Um, and that's the other thing Penta are amazing at. They've got a lot of support out there. Um, they've got a, a YouTube channel that's got loads and loads of inspiration Facebook and Insta and of course they've got some amazing designers so please do have a look okay let's crack on and show you what we got so a quarter of the one day special is gone this launched an hour well not an hour ago the hour before six o'clock <laughs> um, a quarter of the stock has gone I'm not surprised there's all sorts in here if you're brand new to mixed media if you just like playing with um, goodies this is absolutely for you and look at your saving do you know what last hour I didn't really talk about the saving because I was too busy on about products you've got a 14 pound saving here so that's almost I mean I'm not sure of individual prices I'll work it out though because that's you that's that's obviously getting something for nothing here, aren't you? Really good saving. Just £34.90. That is all you're paying. And you've got a real mix of products. So we're starting. You've got two types of crackle glaze. Now, I love crackle glaze. It does give you an amazing finish. Now, this one, your first one, look at that. Now, this is your micro crackle. Cr <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> Can't say it. Micro crackle glaze. I have to say it posh, otherwise it goes funny. 
Um, so the my and I have to slow it down. Micro crackle glaze, um, and you can see those teeny tiny little crackles. Now this is a cracker, crackle. <laughs> it's a cracker because it'll go on lots of different surfaces, like glass, for instance. Without the need for primer, you don't need to put anything on the glass first. You can just put step one on there, let it dry. Step two and you'll get those fabulous crackles. Imagine that on glass. I love that. On paper. Now, I think this is really impressive because a lot of times when I do paper crafting, you do something like this, it looks amazing. However, it looks unfinished because it's paper. This is absolutely where your crackle glaze comes into. Put step one on and then put step two. And can you see some of it will crackle, some of it won't, but it gives you a glaze. So it makes it look finished. And you can see all the beautiful crackle down there. It looks really impressive. And the thing is, this is just paper. You know, it's just beautiful Stamperia paper. Look at all the crackle down there. Can you see it, all that fine crackle? This is Stamperia paper. It doesn't take away from the paper whatsoever. It just enhances it. It just gives it even more texture and more depth. Absolutely adore that. I love that you can go on paper. I think that is fabulous. So that's your corset. That's your micro micro crackle glaze. <laughs> Every time. I'm not even trying to muck it up. I promise. Um, so that's your first product that's really exciting. Two parts. Obviously, have a go with this. Did we have this in stock or did this one go? Right, we have still got it in stock. You get in the micro and you get in the fine line. Uh, both of those, £10 and £99. I say both, both types. You're actually getting four jars, of course, because it's a two-part. So essentially, you're saving. You're not paying for those crackles. You could look at it that way. Next, we've got your expand paste. Do, do, do. Um, this is well cool. So your expand paste. Again, this will go on lots of different surfaces. You can stamp with it. Stamping with it, it looks like embossing powder, but it doesn't feel like embossing. I knew I was going to do that. It's got a beautiful, beautiful texture. It almost feels fluffy. It's really, really nice, but it goes on fabric. Have a look at these two. I did chop this in half, so now I can put it back together again. Look at these two. That is on fabric. I mean, the texture it creates is really interesting. What I love about this, you could still sew through that. You know, you could have that in your, it's not sticky, so you could absolutely have that in your art journal. You might be decorating bags, you know, because with something like that, how cool would that look like um, on your bag? Really like that. That is so different. Really, really like that. So if you do want the expand paste, now, if you want that on its own, $9.99, you're getting two of those for £9.99, but a third of the stock has gone, and that's your expand paste. Now, <clears throat> so I've got a really mad tickle at the back of my throat. Okay, so your bonding primer. I think I really need a drink, please, our Kirsty. Um, <coughs> sorry, it's a real proper. It feels like there's a feather tickle at the back of my throat. And so your bonding primer. Probably could have been talking too much. Uh, now, this is really cool. You just look at that for a minute while I have a drink. <coughs> Bear with. Oh, yeah, it's a tin. Have a look. <laughs> Have a look at the tin. <laughs> nice tin. It's tin the only that. Brilliant. Great. Um, right. What this is is <coughs> oh, I think it's gonna have to be hot drink time. So this is your tin. Now this is well cool because it started life like this. I absolutely adored it once, but then fell out with it. Um it has got like the the print on it is really really pretty just hot water would be amazing if i could just have hot water that'd be smashing um it's okay well cat dear um that'd be ace if i could have some hot water just out tap that'd be grand sorry everyone at home <laughs> hot water hot water helps better than cold to, to stop the tickles thank you so much janice so what this does your bonding primer you can put this on anything now 
I think this is amazing stuff because think about what you've got at home. Like things like this. Products will say they're going to go on it, but um, sometimes they don't have the, the resistance, so they don't have the scratchability. Do you know what I mean? Um, when they, they um, designed this, when they made this, uh, and Pentot, of course, manufacture all these products, they make, they physically make the products. When they did made this um, in the labs, they tested it, so they put it on a towel, they put um, half on a towel, half not paint on the uh, part with the bonder paint on the part that didn't when they put it through test the paint side with the bonding underneath that was the best that absolutely outperformed and it resisted being scratched etc um, they did have it independently tested as well and they confirmed the test now you can put this on plastic you can put it on glass you can put it on porcelain you know things that are, are tricky um, you can put it on painted wood even painted wood that has been oil painted you can use this um, you can use it over things that have been have gone rusty to sand it back a bit take the grease off uh, with alcohol I've been using sand soap actually uh, get the grease off but then put two coats of that on and seriously it gives you such a good grip but it obviously gives you that fantastic uh, finish as well. What I do like about that as well, it has got anti-corroding agent in. So it means if something is rusty, it's going to help protect it. It's cracking stuff, is that? Really, really cool. So that's your bonding primer. Next, we've got your beautiful powdered minerals. This is just gorgeous. It just looks beautiful. You can see that natural shine in there. Uh, I love that. Now, they do do different grades of this. This is the really fine stuff. And you can mix this with any of your paste, like your gel medium that's next to it. If you mix it with a glossy gel medium, you're going to get a glossy finish. I mixed it with the matte gel medium, which is why I've got a matte finish. And this is just gorgeous. Now, it's just so textured. Doesn't that look natural? It's just... They just looks well it is natural it's it's a proper mineral powder so it's just perfect that's on the black gesso i love it on black gesso and again because i've used your gel medium you can't see the gel medium that dries perfectly clear it's a matte one so there's no shine i love it because it's so natural i mean with that that's got so many layers on but the texture on there now and it doesn't look false you know, it doesn't look, um, I don't know, it's just, well, I keep saying natural, but that is the best way of describing it, because that's precisely what it is. Lovely stuff, that, and it's really heavy as well. Absolutely amazing. So, that's your beautiful mineral powder. The next one that you've got is heavy gel medium. Now, that is an essential. It's funny, years ago, not that long ago, never even heard of gel medium. The first time I ever heard of gel medium was um, Finnebar. And she was using it to stick all her massive embellishments. And I thought, what on earth is that? Now, everybody's got it. Pentar, it's a really good brand. It's good quality. It is a heavy body, so it's going to stick metal embellishments down. It's going to do all sorts. You're going to be able to mix um, all your fantastic powders and things with this. It's one of those products that's an absolute must-have. You can use this on the base of something and then put your alcohol inks on and it will give it a beautiful, beautiful gloss. Definitely a must-have. In fact, that's something I need to prep as well. Now, next we've got Gesso. Gesso is an absolute essential. Gesso we use to prime things, but of course, we use it for so many things. Um, you can, with this, it's a heavy Gesso, so you can actually make marks into it and that's exactly what I've done there. So I've used, um, just, just made marks into it using the back of a paintbrush and then put over the alcohol inks, the media inks, which look amazing. Same with this one. That's actually white gesso with the media inks over the top. I'm so impressed with that because that is just a cardboard box. Bog standard cardboard box, but I just think it looks absolutely amazing. I haven't finished it yet. I want to go over with gilding wax as well because I think that'll look amazing. But gesso, good old gesso, it's really good quality. We have got gesso in the bigger pots for you, um, and they're down at the bottom there. Uh, black and white, the massive pots of them. So if you really need to stock up on your gesso, go for those ones. Um, that is 828256. But obviously, if you've not tried that one before, it's brilliant, and it's well heavy as well because it's so thick. Now, next, our other... Um, or other crackle. Now, this is your fine liner crackle. This is designed, and I love how they all, how do they do that? 
how do they know what the crackles can do? I mean, I've never, I'm, I mean, I've never understood chemistry. I don't understand how things work, but it's just magic, isn't it? Um, anyway, it gives you that really wonderful sort of porcelain look. Now, this one does need a primer underneath. The other one doesn't. This one does. So whether it be an adhesive primer, um, maybe the primer that we got on the show, maybe, of course, um, acrylic paint, but it gives you such a beautiful finish. Really cool stuff. So that's your fine liner. We've then moved on to, um, last but not least, first of all, I mean the light modelling paste. This has been a serious superstar here at Achanda. Um, it's been really, really busy in the last hour as well. Um, you can get it in two pots there at the bottom. 40% of the stock has gone. The reason this is so busy is because it does this. When it's in a mould, and we have got these moulds, I'm going to show you these in a minute, um, it gives you that incredible finish, but it's seriously flexible. So it'll go around jars, it'll go around bottles, it'll, you can decorate anything with it. It looks like lace, but obviously it's really, really um, substantial because that has got a texture to it. I mean, it's gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Um, you can see I've used it in the bigger mould as well that we've got, and that would look just beautiful around a jar like that. I mean, that just looks incredible, doesn't it? And the thing is, obviously, you're doing it again and again and again. You can use them in your flexible moulds as well. And that's one I've used with the media inks, and I've put uh, gold wax um, over the top of that, and I just love that. And again absolutely flexible yeah it's seriously good stuff is that and i'll show you i will show you in this hour why it's cool in the pen as well now the last two and i'll talk about these together because it's snow and ice hold on that one stays there that one's there so you snow and ice so of course ice is more transparent but it's got that wonderful sort of glisten snow is heavier because it's meant to look like snow so they're gonna look like this so that's on the jar and that's a beautiful eye. So I have put a little bit of gold at the top there. I love that. I just think it does. It looks iced. It's just lovely. And then I've also popped it on here as well. And you can see just stenciling on, first of all, and then going over the top. I love that because the ice has got a soft twinkle, but then the snow has got a proper sort of um, opacity to it, hasn't it? Oh, I think that is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, if you do want those two, um, oh, have we got those two on? No, we haven't, have we? No, because I was looking for bigger tubs because I wanted to use them even more. Um, okay, this is it. This is your one day special. It's a really nice mix of products. You've got loads to play with there. Whether you're into your mixed media, whether you're into, I don't know, soft crafts, whether you're into card making, um, whether you're into upcycling, it's such a good deal and it's a real cracker at getting to learn products getting to 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 have an, an experiment before you make big investments and obviously there's products that you might not have picked up like the bonding primer i wouldn't have picked that up because i'd have thought well i don't really understand it now now i get it you can use it on plastic imagine what you can upcycle furniture you know like um you know like plastic coats of furniture you can use that and then paint that I mean, it, honestly, that will give you so many possibilities, cracking stuff. Now, if you do want that collection, um, it is available with that £14 saving, but it's either while stocks last or until we run out of time. 234-445 is your item number. Now, something that was ridiculously busy in the first hour, and they are just beautiful. Sorry, I'm carrying my cup. I will have a little slurp in a bit. It's all right now. Here we just one mad tickle for no reason. It dog my throat. Um, this is, they're amazing. I forgot how much fun alcohol inks are. They're just ace. They're ace. Now, your first collection, these are the ones with the metallics in. 60% of the stock has gone. These are not going to last, are they? Um, now, in each collection, you are getting your diluting fluid. That is absolutely essential. And then in this one, you've got your silver, you've got your bronze, you've got gold, you've got white coffee. And then there's one more, isn't there? Apricot! <laughs> um, they are super, and I'll show you. I'll show you everything because I mixed them all up. So that's set to set one, yeah, set one, obviously, because it's number one. 
<laughs> we didn't put set two and then set one, Leona. <laughs> and then set two, 70% of the stock has gone. So in this one, we have got jade, we've got turquoise, we've got the um, the thingy, the dilutant. We've then got jade, I said jade and turquoise, ginger, red wine and tangerine, of course, 15.99 each. And these are cool. That's what I've used on there. That is just on Gesso. And what I will do, uh, I'll hope that I hope the last tomorrow, because I'll just do loads of different surfaces to use them on. Because honestly, they're just, they're just addictive. They really are. And I'll just show you these two again. I mean, I mean, the race. And you can see on the, the wonderful um, soft molding paste, I love that. And then, just again on white gesso. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, if you do want to get hold of those, only fifteen ninety nine. But I would highly, highly recommend you check your baskets out on them. They've been seriously popular. Uh, Seven three four one three nine is your item number. Let me just get my little old moulds because we have got the moulds now. I must admit, I have only, I've only played with the the two long ones because. Um, because time, <clears throat> unfortunately, these are lovely. So if you want the lace effect like this, this is the mould to go for. And these are just gorgeous. Only 29 nine. you're getting a lot of moulds. So you've got that big, long mould. You've then got that beautiful mould. And these are seriously flexible moulds. I mean, they are wonderful, so it makes it a lot easier to get your paste out of. These two you'll use with your paste. The other ones, maybe not so, but they will work with all your air dry clays. Paste, the paste can be a bit trickier. I might try it in that one. I think it'll probably work in that one. Yeah, it would. It'd absolutely work in that one. And I'll tell you what would work in that, um, the Glamour Paste. That would definitely work in there. In fact, the Glamour Paste might work in these ones as well. Um, I love this. That frame, I tried to do it, but unfortunately, my clay broke a bit. But let me show you. Honestly, that is beautiful. And I must admit, the price of these, can you see the detail of that? I've only just done it. So that is gorgeous. So, so pretty. Really, really like that. I mean, if you were buying embellishments that size, that cost you a fortune. I love the way they've designed it as well, because you've got the frame, but then you've got the two little extras in the centre, so they've really maximised the mould. You've then got the hearts, which are just always really handy, aren't they? And then last but not least, you've got a little frame as well. Again, that is really detailed, and again, really, really flexible. The right, really nice moulds are feel gorgeous as well. They're like. Um, they like stress relievers. They're gorgeous. Um, now, I've used them, obviously, with our cream paste, which it, they're famous for, aren't they? That's why we sell so much cream paste, because of these. But the Glamour paste that we've got on the show, the Glamour paste also has a little bit of flexibility. And that looks lovely, because that actually looks like metal. I mean, it's really cool. And yeah, I've got lots of different colours with Glamour Paste. So try it with Glamour Paste as well. OK, check that website out. If you do want those, by the way, you've got loads there for 29.99. Really good price. 180383, that's your item number. Right, check out the website. We've got loads on that website. I mean, there are so many incredible products. There's stuff we are going to be showing you, different stuff every hour, like the mode we've introduced this one. Uh, but it's so you can get a proper look at things. Because this is the thing, everything, everything is worth its own show, quite frankly. Because there's so many products and they can do so much. Um, so please take your time, have a nice perusal. If you've got questions, email in. Uh, because obviously we do love your questions and um, hopefully I'll be able to try and answer. If um, you've had any of these products and you've got photographs, we'd love to see what you've been doing because we are very nosy. Um, OK, right, I'm going to talk about, first of all, the um, the thingy. Where have I put mine? Oh, folks at home. This game again. Honestly, honestly, I know I know you're going, Leone. What, are you, what is wrong with you today? Tell me about it. OK, now, um, the light moulding paste. I was looking for my big tubs of it, because I have got big tubs of it, and I've had it, but where I've put it in this pile that I have got in front of me is another story. I drive myself mad. I do like... It's... No. Um, oh, it don't matter. It's there somewhere, but I'll find it. It's probably behind me. 
behind you. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. It's in the bin. It's not in the bin. So, the light moulding paste. I'm using the bigger because I can. I've got the bigger. If you're going for the bigger, you're going to get two of these. Um, I always, always keep the, the silver bit. I don't know why, because then it drives me nuts. But I do feel that it, it just helps keep it um, fresh and lovely. So I always keep that bit on. It always drives me nuts, but I always keep it on. So that is the way it is. Um, if you do want the bigger parts yet, yeah, they are at the bottom of the screen for you. Now, what I was saying in the first hour, and I was meaning to get it, but I haven't yet. I want to get a piping bag for this, you know, that you use with your cakes. Because I, it, because it's that soft, I think you'll be able to pipe with this. Not on your cakes, oops. But I think you'd be able to part with it. What I don't know, I don't know how it had set because what moulding, what this stuff does, when you put it in a mould, it sinks. So you might find, let me get my thing. So when you put it in mould, and we did have a question, didn't we, our Ross? So what did Angie say? Okay. Right, so Angie said she's been disappointed with the results because um, it rips. Is she applying it too thinly? Okay, Angie, so it depends on your mould. If you've got a mould like this, Angie, you need to apply it thinly first because otherwise, if you apply it too thick with a mould like this, then what happens is um, you won't get the lace effect. So what you want to do, first of all, just, and it literally it feels like you're working with shaving foam, it's the maddest consistency. So pop it in, just drag the excess off like that, and you want to see the, the mould. Now, how to know, how to tell if you're using a mould that will get a lace effect? What it needs to do, the mould, is all the elements have to join. If they don't, if there's any bits that won't join, it isn't going to work as a lace effect. So that means you do need to pile it on um, if it's not a mould that will give you the lace effect. Now, with that, I would leave that now. Um, it depends where you dry it. Because this room, we have serious air conditioning, it takes a little bit longer. At home, I'll put it in um, my um, thing um, that gets warm. Oh, where well, you put your towels, airy cupboard, airy cupboard. My brain today, it's been ridiculous. Now, I'm having a look at this. This wasn't dry earlier, but I think it's dry now. Okay, now I didn't think this would be dry. I didn't think this would be thick enough, but it's looking okay. If, if, or Angie, if it's not thick enough, then can you see how it sinks? It's actually sunk a little in the mould. I don't know if you can tell, but it sinks a little in the mould. If it's done that, then you can always put another layer. So what you can do, you can actually start peeling it out like this. If it breaks, if it's not thick enough, then put it back in and put another layer over the top. It doesn't, don't waste it. If it feels like it's not coming out properly, just put another layer on. If it's doing this, now I'll show you. Can you see there how it's kind of, hold on a minute. Yeah. That isn't 100% dry. So can you see there how it's just sort of tugging a bit there? That's not 100% dry. So I just leave that. That I'm not letting, I'm not taking out. So just let that dry properly. But, but if it's not thick enough, so say here, for instance, or you've got too many air bubbles, literally just load another layer. You are better putting another layer on when it's dry. It'll dry quicker like that. Otherwise, it can take a while to dry. So literally putting another layer on. Now, that's if it's a mould that will give you a lacy effect. Now, if it's a stronger, if it's one of the other moulds, like we get with Stamperia, and I can show you, but I need to just nip over there. Do you want to put a, maybe a picture in while I nip? This is where um, we have ha um, hold music sometimes. Molly loves hold music. She loves me disappearing so she can put... <laughs> she's like, hold music! Um, this is your one day special. If you do want your one day special, um, I mean, it is really busy and the shows are flying, the time's flying. Uh, so please, please check your baskets out. Do not miss out on this. It is such a cool collection of products. That is 234 445. That's your item number. Okay, come back with this. I can't actually, it's hard to tell which way is the right way and which way is the wrong way with this. 
I wonder if it matters. But anyway, so this is one of your Stamperia moulds. Okay, so yeah, that's the right way. So, and now I think, Angie, you might be having trouble with one of these. Right, if you're having trouble with one of these. So now when I put this in like this, this mould actually I probably could get a lacy effect with because, can you see, this one will give me more of a, a joined up finish. So it's quite a solid pattern. So that one, I could load the, the paste like that. However, if it won't join up and if it is, if it's disappointing, do it like this. So you actually put in a full load in like this. Oh, full load, sound like I'm loading washing machine. So I put full load in. Now I actually find, again, it's better to let that first layer dry and then pop the other layer in just because it's a bit quicker. Stamperia don't. They do um, They do it all in one go. But So pop your first layer in, like so. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. I must admit, first time I tried, um, I were really tight, you see. So I used to put them all in like this. And I obviously didn't read the instructions either. Well, watch the, watch the things. So my first ones were like, mm, I don't get that. But then, um, then I watched. And I was like, all oh, right, OK. So do that, let it dry, and it will sink into the mould. And then your next layer, you literally have to have it like this. So you need to be smearing it on like that. And at first it looks like you're wasting it. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm going through so much product. You're not. You're going to get a really, really good result. But because it sinks into the mould, and if it is a mould that hasn't got those joined up bits and it isn't coming out as one full piece, it needs to be like this because otherwise it's nothing to hold on to, if you see what I mean. So this, it needs to be thick so it, it's holding on to itself. If you, I hope that absolutely makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's connecting. If there's no connectors, then it's uh, it's now to stick onto. So that's how you do it, Angie. Now you do need to let that dry. As I said, in a room like this, easy 24 hours. In my um, overnight, if I put it where you keep your towels, then that will it'll dry about overnight. To be fair, but I hope that helps. Now. Oh, music. <laughs> now, the other reason this... <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> it makes me laugh if every now and again you just stuff that in just for crack. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. OK, the other reason, yeah, these are called. So the pen tart modelling pens. So because it's in pen format, it means you can create your own embellishments. So maybe you want to create your own little swells. And again, if you let these join like this. So see, make sure they join. So creating your own little swells. Now, we already know that it's flexible. And we already know that it'll come out as one piece. Let that dry. I'm working on a um, heat-resistant craft mat. Because I know on the heat resistant craft mat, it'll peel off. And I'm really getting carried away. Putting little leaves on it. Stop, Leona. Okay, because now look, let that dry. Let your shaving foam dry. Because then look, you can get it like that. How cool is that? So you can make your own little embellishments to glue on things. And look, I did a little, my little flower. And I did a teeny tiny little heart. How fabulous is that? So then you'll be able to put all your little embellishments and completely lose it. But doesn't that look pretty? I love that. And that is one of the things with actually having it in a pen that's so handy. Obviously, you could go directly on. So I'm going on there so I can peel it off. Obviously, you can go, di uh -oh. you can go directly on things as well. So it's going to go on loads of different products, of course. But like something like this, I have been, I've ruined this a bit because I've been mixing my paste in there. So now it just looks like I've, I've got mud in there. But on something like this, because that's already got um, a base on there, I would definitely then be able to go directly on. Now, I'm doing freehand. You might want to follow a pattern. You know, you might want to just do little, um, little dots. You could do all sorts with it. 
but it is going to dry. It's going to dry raised as well. And of course, you can add glitter to this. You could do all sorts with it. I'm not going to do a full pattern because because that's just silly. Um, but uh, let it dry, obviously, then you'll peel it out of the mould. Oh, that will work. Um, and then you'll be able to colour it with anything. We've got the alcohol inks on the show. You would be able to, and I'll just do this really, really quickly, and then um, we can do a little reminder. So if I just take, I'm going to take a Christmas tree underneath it, and then, then we're going to put a piece of white card so you can actually see what I'm doing. I've got an acrylic Christmas tree because I know if I use alcohol inks, the, um, I'll be able to use the acrylic afterwards, so I know it'll stick on the acrylic. So if I just get these, I'm loving the alcohol inks as well, you know. Are, are they really popular again? Okay. Um, right, so I won't faff too much, but if I put the little apricot on there, and you can see... It'll colour that beautifully <laughs> up again. <laughs> and it's only one random hiccup. <laughs> one random hiccup at this time of the night. It's, it's a bit like the alarm clock. Oh, no, it's 33 minutes past. <laughs> the random hiccup has hit. Um, I think. And there. And then, wow, look at that blue. When I lift it off, I'm going to have to lift it off with my fingers, aren't I? When I lift it off... <laughs> you, this is when you want um, tweezers. But look. Obviously, the paper, it'll... There you go. Can you see how light that is? It looks really pretty. And then the Christmas tree. I should finish the Christmas tree now, shouldn't I? Because I've started, which means I've now gone on to a different product. Um, if you do do want that moulding paste, you have got that in um, the one day special, or of course you've got it independently. Um, either which, what, what, what? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Independently, it's zooming in as we speak. It is well good. 60% of the stock has gone. If you do want it independently, you need to check your baskets out. It is one of those products that's ridiculously busy every single time. So I've gone on with the jade. I'm stirring the um, the bronze because I want to add some bronze to this. I'm then going to go in with tangerine because I can and just because I love it. So pop a little bit of tangerine. And add did take photos, but I haven't posted them on Insta yet because it looks so much different in real life than it does on telly. It's one of those that you have to see it in real life. The colours are divine. Alcohol inks are brilliant. They, you can just play with them. You can do so much. Now, I'm just, I'm actually moving that around with the, the nozzle. I'm not sucking the ink back up again. There we go. And getting that gorgeous, gorgeous colour just to move around like so. I love that. Now you will get some going into the cut onto the cardstock, but when I take it off the cardstock, I can move that around. It will all dry. It what it does because it's alcohol ink, it'll all evaporate. So just move the flower. I love the print that it's done actually. Look at that, that looks really pretty. So I'll just move that one, it's gone through, obviously, alcohol ink. So I'll just mop it like that. And then what I'm going to do, the excess, you can actually lift the excess off. So if you've got a little bit like that, there, just let that drain away onto your towel. Like so. And then, let's go in with a bronze. I want to play a piece of card now. Sorry, I keep changing the card because I want you to be able to see it. And the thing is, every time I get alcohol ink on the base, you can't see it quite as well. There. Oh, love that. That's really rich and gorgeous. So if I get the bronze, you've got in set one, you've got the bronze, you've got the silver, and you've got the gold. The metallics are absolutely... Oh, man. I didn't mean to do that then, but doesn't that look good? <laughs> oh, I love it. Isn't that just beautiful? And I, it's just, now I've absolutely covered it. But this will be really good because when it dries, because it's acrylic, the, you'll see a different pattern on the other side. Oh, man, I love this stuff. Never gets boring. It's just one of those that you want to keep playing with. And unfortunately, I do keep playing with. Look, 
Pow. <laughs> Meow. It's miles better in real life than on telly. I love it. Oh, um, I love it. See, this is why I'll get through tons of this stuff, just because I like doing that. I will leave that. Oh, but that is ridiculously pretty. Can you see it dancing? Does it look good? Um, OK, that is beautiful. When that dries, that is just going to look like magic. Um, please check your basket on them. Oh, they're so good. Um, OK, if you are a Freedom member, you don't have to pay for postage. How do we become a Freedom member, Alex? Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Here's a little bit about Freedom Membership. So we're going to have a quick reminder of what we're getting with the one day special, then we'll head back to Leone. This I can only describe as a fantastic taster menu for your mixed media in the sense that you are getting a little bit of everything. Uh, Leone described it at the start of the show. These are, when in terms of mixed media, these are the goodies that you play with that we all get excited about. So let's start with crackle, but it's not an ordinary cra crackle, it's a micro crackle paste giving you that beautiful crackle finish. You do not need to use a primer to lay that down and it will go onto multiple surfaces as well. Just going to pull this in, have a look at that on the glass is stunning. You get such a beautiful effect. Uh, imagine creating like an apocathry, uh, apocathry. Is that right? Apocathry? No. What, what is it? Apocathry. Yes. No, it's not right. I'm saying it wrong. It's something like it. Apocathry. This is. This is um, at home, you know what I'm talking about. But that, that kind of like um, potions and stuff like that. Okay, so I wish I'd never gone for it. <laughs> Glad to say it. So that's your micro crackle. Then we have our expanding paste. This is really cool stuff. I've actually not played with it before, but watching Leonie, especially talking about it, it's really cool. So you could put it onto fabric. Now, if I just show you there, that detail has been made using the expanding paste, but it's a, it's a lovely medium to work with. It's light, it's fluffy, uh, giving great effect there. So that's your expanding paste. Then we have uh, our bonding primer, which you can see here. So your bonding primer uh, allowing you to prime, it's thinking about plastics, different surfaces there, so it's just a go-to. Uh, following on from the bonding primer, you're getting your minerals. Have a look at that. So. When we talk about minerals, is adding. Is that, oh, no, no, I thought that was a, a piece. Oh, actually, have a look at this. Using the minerals. Ooh, -hoo. yeah, look, this is when life starts to get exciting, and especially when you start mixing and matching all the different mediums. So, there are your minerals. Then we have 
over here, this is your heavy body gel. Heavy body gel is just a go-to, especially mixed media, if you're looking for an adhesive. Uh, so think about a large embellishment. It could be a large metal co uh, clog, say, cog. Uh, so you can just use your heavy body gel. It is a go-to. You don't need me to tell you how to use it, but uh, so many different uses. And of course, you can color it as well. As we come up here, we have our primer. So gesso, just a really good quality gesso. Now you do need, now it's good that you've got the primer here because we have another crackle for you, but this crackle does require a primer. So uh, there's another beautiful crackle paste for you. This is your fine line crackle paste. And I do have an example, do I? It's disappeared. Oh no, it's here, there we go. So that is your fine line of paste, uh, crackle, sorry, your fine line crackle, but it does need a primer. But then we've got our primer paste here, so don't worry. Uh, and then we're getting on to, this is where life suddenly gets very exciting. The modeling paste, which is incredibly uh, busy. Let me just show you, because you can get it as an individual option, and that's at the bottom of your screen. If I was to show you that, that's been made, we have got this mold on the show, and I will be getting to that. That's been made using the modeling paste. Or, what about this? Incredible. I say, those two, are, you're going to want to get those molds with that modeling paste. Uh, if you want to get it individually, 10.99 at the bottom of your screen. Uh, and not only that, you're also getting here, these are quite interesting. You've got your ice and snow, so the snow to give the illusion of snow. And then you've got uh, the ice in there as well. And let me just show you that is using the ice with a hint of gold. I think we only put a hint of gold at the top, but giving that wonderful frosted uh, finish. And then you have the uh, snow effect as well. So that's your one day special. 34.90, saving 14 pounds. So fantastic saving in there. Uh, and just a great way, if you love your mixed media, there's a lot to sink your teeth into here. If you're looking to start exploring mixed media, this is a very cost-effective way of getting a little bit of everything. And then, once you have got it home and had a little bit of play, say the modeling paste, you wanted to try out that modeling paste, you love it, okay, brilliant. Then you can always go on and get more as part of an individual option in the future. Everything will be dispatched from the 28th of August. So you're coming from Pentart, the minute we have it, we're going to get it straight out to you. So that's your one day special. The alcohol inks, there is something, there, okay, so as crafters, there are techniques that you will never ever get tired of. We talk about the fact that uh, watching Heat and Boss turn. There is no, I don't think I've ever met a crafter who gets tired of seeing heat and boss turn. Uh, same thing with the alcohol inks. It's the effects that you can get, the vibrancy of the colors, and the fact that every time you use them, you are going to get an original effect. You just don't know what you're going to achieve from it because you get these wonderful organic colors coming through. And you can use them on multiple surfaces as well. I know Leone was having a little bit of a play on that acrylic um, Christmas tree. Look at this. This is onto cardstock now. Just a normal. Look, just a. Well, I'll just show you. Just a box. Normal box. Look at that. Transforming it. Or oh, how about this? That's onto your grey board. So you can just see the back. There's your grey board. What? Look at that. I think that's just been primed. So just prime it with your gesso. Good to go. So you've got two different options with regard to the alcohol ink. Collection one, we're at two thirds of the stock. Now, I do you believe collection one contains the metallics that we were playing with? You're also getting your dilution too. Now, it's really important because adding that dilution fluid, it's what gives you that cellular feel and just allows it all to separate. So you're getting your gold, your bronze, and your silver. And you're also getting your apricot and your white coffee. White coffee? White coffee, okay. Fifteen ninety nine your price there, seven three four one three nine your item number. Collection number two, oh ho. 80% of the stock's gone for uh, collection number two, which you're having a look in there. You've got your turquoise blue, your jade, uh, there's your dilution fluid, you've got your ginger, your red wine, and your tangerine. Fifteen ninety nine is your price, seven three four one three nine your item number. That's for collection number two or set number two. Both are busy, but it looks like set number two could be the first to go. We will find out. I, I, I absolutely, I've got a rule as a presenter at Hoshanda. I don't like saying you need something. I don't like saying it, but when I saw the modeling paste, genuinely, so I only reserve the you need it for when you genuinely need it. You need this. Because having a look, let me just show you this one. That mold, 
Now, it's hard to gauge from the actual mold. I know Leone was showing you just how flexible the mold is, but this is when life gets interesting because if you have gone for the modeling paste, you use that, all of a sudden, you're going to get this. That is what creates that beautiful lace effect. So you imagine incorporating that into your mix. It is stunning, okay? So you want that. But then the real piece de resistance. Look at this. And that all of a sudden will create... Oh, wait for this. Baba, look, are you kidding? But it is that flexibility, the versatility of how you're going to be using it. It's strong, it's flexible. It is just a, a revelation, really. When we started bringing it to you, I don't think there's been a time when we haven't brought modeling paste that hasn't sold out. But you need the right molds to work with it. So you're getting those two, which are fantastic. But you're also getting, I think, a really nice collection of molds for £20.99. So we've seen those two uh, sort of texture mats with the molds. Then you've got your deeper molds. Leonie was thinking, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with her, that the uh, modeling paste would work in this mold here to create a little flourish. Obviously, you think about your air dry clays, your silicones will all work in here as well. Now, frames. Let me just show you something, because this is the frame here, and you have got the center flourishes as well, which I know Leonie was impressed about. But look how ornate. I know that the, I apologize because the frame, we, it was dropped, so that's why it's cracked. But you can see there how ornate. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So you get all that intricate detail. Do you know how, what it reminds me of? A frame, think about a Victorian mirror. Or if you wanted to see, so you're able to create your own frames there. You're able also to create your own heart. So pouring resins, fantastic. Or if you wanted to... I think, just dragging my memory back, Catherine had, actually I did the show with her, she had some resins where uh, it was powder form, and then you mixed it and made your own resin. So you could pour that in there if you wanted. You could use your air dry clay. So you can make our own embellishments. And then finally, this is a really, really cool mold because you're making a beautiful little delicate uh, frame. I know Leone, uh, Lou Withers, so many, Catherine, would be using that in the, their albums. So a lovely little mold. Uh, to put in a frame to put in your uh, albums as well. £20.99 is your price. You're getting a great selection of moulds for a really good price there. 180383, your item number. Uh, we're going to jump onto the website as we head back to Leone. Let's have a little look. So you can get all the larger options as well. So have a little look because if there's something in the one day special that you know you're going to love, like say the modelling paste, you've seen it because the one day special modelling paste, it's got that pen tip to it so it's really designed for smaller details but if you know you want to take on the big molds my advice you do need to go for the larger pots 10.99 though for two of the 150 mil light modeling paste you've also got the expanding paste in there as well you've got the crackles so the fine and micro crackle together uh, deluxe pastes the acrylics they're very good Me uh, metallic acrylics with a nice little saving on them too all right, we're going to head back to Leone for our next demonstration. Thank you. Now, I know I haven't got long, so I'm just going to quickly touch on this. We did have a question about what makes different modelling pastes. Um, it's mainly the, the actual texture of it. So, was it Glynis? Sorry. Jeanette. Sorry, Jeanette. I'm absolutely renaming you. <laughs> Sorry, Jeanette, where did I get that from? Um, I th oh, oh, man. <laughs> um, OK, so the the one that we've got today, uh, the Pentart one, I mean, look at that texture. It's very, very light. It's very, very... Um, the texture is, is similar to shaving cream. I mean, it absolutely looks like shaving cream. It's, it's beautiful. So that is a very, very light moulding paste. That's... That's what that one is. That will give you... So some um, some will give you a really heavy mould. That won't. That's very soft. It's very smooth. It's um, It'll still keep retain its structure, but it's, uh, it's, it's not a really heavy one. The one we had on the other day um, from that crafter's workshop, this is different to anything I've ever seen in my life. That, now that is heavy. That uh, that looks like, I mean, it almost looks like chewing gum, doesn't it? 
Um, but that, that's amazing stuff. That's amazing. But it's a different kettle of fish. You know, you use that for different things. I wouldn't be putting that in my mould. I don't know what it would do, but I wouldn't put it in it. Um, I mean, it might be quite interesting. But, so that one, I, these are the only ones I could actually find at the minute. I know I've got loads and loads of different ones, but there's them. Um, Obviously, um, moulds from, this is that crafters as well, but the coloured ones. But again, look, it's your, it is your texture. You can see that's a lot thicker. Now, you can try them in your moulds because they might have the, the same elasticity. Um, they absolutely might have. Give it a go. Absolutely give it a go. Um, I'm sure you're not going to ruin your moulds, especially if you've got flexible moulds. But that's mainly your difference. The difference is that consistency. And you can see it on the card there. You know, that is very, very smooth indeed. That one is really thick and really holds its shape. That one has been designed so you can add products to it whereas that one is a uh, is heavier but you can get that really smooth as well but that's your main difference so um so yeah i mean try if you've got molding creams already then try them in a mold however we do know that one works now really 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 quickly uh, what i wanted to show you because i didn't show you in the last hour and i know i haven't got um, not got long at all you can take a stamp the expanding paste you can take a little bit of your expanding paste out the pot, like so, a bit more than that. A little bit of expanding paste out the pot. Now what you then want to do is just sponge this onto a stamp. I'm hoping I've put enough. I am really rushing now. Sponge it onto a stamp and then stamp on a piece of card. Better piece of card than that, but I'm rushing. Okay, you have to let this dry. Let it dry. When it dries, you'll get something like this. I mean, you won't, that's a completely different stamp, but you know. But then heat it. And when you heat emboss it, you keep your fingers crossed, it's going to work. <laughs> but when it does work, it's good, isn't it? There you go. It's really cool. And that's the stuff that also works on fabric. So you can use it with your stamps, you can use it with your stencils, you can use it on wood. Again, you can use it for your card making, for your mixed media. How cool is that? And at first you think, that ain't going to work. And actually, it works really well indeed. Um, that is just one of the elements in your fantastic one day special. These hours are going so quick. Uh, I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Thanks, Janice. Thank So, welcome to the weekend. Um, it's Friday, don't you know? Pentot, one day special, another chance to ch catch that. And then our dolly dimples is under the sea. Good night. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately, but but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda. Now shipping again to you out in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom Member though. Take advantage of that saving. Hello there. I'm absolutely delighted to tell you that we're going to continue with our craft along, starting with the wonderful Leslie Wharton on the 16th of August at 2 p.m. with a gorgeous kit. Now, you don't want to miss out on this one. Let me go through all of the details because this is enormous. It really, really is. Now, I have got a whole list in. You're actually going to get a, check, a checklist in your bundle as well. So when you do order, you can check everything's there and anything else extra, Leslie will let you know about as well. Now, I can tell you, 
that looking at this straight away, if you take those stamps alone, they are valued at just under £48, but we're getting so much more. Now, there is so much that I'm going to have to read this list, so I'm just going to put my glasses on. Uh, this is what you're going to get included. You're going to get a Sow the Seeds A5 stamp set. You're going to get Mother of the Earth A5 stamp set. You're going to get Modern Textures DL stamp set, an A4 cling sheet, a DL cling sheet. You get an A4 sheet masking tissue, a bisque plaque. You're getting a wooden plaque. You're getting a double photo box frame, deco art clear varnish. You're getting a glazer white fine detail embossing powder, a mini versa ma marking pad. Also two foil sheets, still going, one double-sided adhesive sheet, four MDF letters for the word love, four MDF letters for the word home, five A6 drawing cartridge pieces, five 300 GSM A6 white card pieces, four papers, two which will be dictionary and two will be book papers. You're going to get a tub of walnut crystals and some tacky PVA glue as well. That is absolutely incredible. Now we do have Leslie in the studio as well. I think we're going to speak to Leslie right now. Leslie, what a, what a great bundle. Yeah, when you think, I think the price of this is like 57.90, you take the price of the stamps up for just, I think just under 10 pound, you're getting everything else. Absolutely and incredible. David and I, David's going to join me. <laughs> he is, yes. Leslie's husband, David, was, will be crafting along with Leslie. And you have a little bit of a choice of what you can create as well here. Don't forget, you're getting a bis plaque in there, getting a wooden plaque, those different letters there as well. We're seeing samples here, but you can choose your colours. So depending on the colours, then, of course, the difference will be there and it will make it very personal to you. There you can see that double-sided frame as well. If I was to spin that around, you would see that it is a double-sided frame. I'm just going to quickly do that, actually, because I know I can reach that without knocking everything over. There we are. Isn't that fantastic? We're really looking forward to this. I'm sure you are to get your Craft Along bundle now, 25 saving. Uh, that's the pounds, of course, Five, 57 pounds and 90 pence, 490819. All the details on the website. Don't miss out on yours. We are so looking forward to the 16th of August. Remember, it starts at 2 o'clock. Be there and join in with Leslie and David. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favorite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Well, hello everybody and welcome to The Weekend. So, uh, with the Welcome to The Weekend show, what we like to do is give you a little sneak peek at what will be happening at The Weekend and a little preview of the shows. But the best part is that when we do bring you something, so we might be having a look, say, at a one-day special that's going to appear on Sunday you will have this opportunity for this hour only to get that one-day special before anybody else at the one day special price so the price will lower for this hour and then at the end of the hour it will uh, then revert back to its original price until it goes back down again for the uh, sunday launch we've also got happy hour deals which i'm going to get to as well feel free to email in so it's not what well, i say email in you can write uh you can send us messages on facebook or you can email studio at hochanda.com because this is our opportunity to have a little bit of a chin wag and see what you've been up to uh, right so we're going to have a little look now can I just say, the name is amazing. So this is Stitching Me Softly. Uh, this is coming up tomorrow at five o'clock and you're getting some beautiful, oof. Now look, this is really nice. Two different options, so some great yarn. I presume we're gonna get, are we getting patterns in here or? This is your block blanket crochet kit. Yes, so it's a kit that you're gonna make, a beautiful block blanket. You have got your crochet needle in there. So that's your seven mil crochet needle. Uh, there's a thin that you've got, and it's just everything about this I love. The quality of the yarn is stunning, and you instantly, you feel it. I've, 
become a connoisseur at Hochanda of yarn and you can feel it to the touch and see it. It's a nice, it's a lovely size yarn uh, as well. It's, oh, now that's, you know when I said you could feel it, it's 55% merino wool. So you know how nice merino wool is. Uh, and it's 45% acrylic. So you've got two different options in the mix. I will put that back where it is. Uh, this is your neutrals, but look at all the colors that you are getting. I wish, does it show, have we got a picture of the actual kit that it will make? All right, it won't show what make, but we have got, okay, just the picture will just show here, so we won't show it to you. Um, that's your neutrals. Then we have got the brights in the mix as well. So just taking a look at the uh, brights. Thank you, Kirsty. There we go. Oh, I've got everyone. Oh. Just before I go into the brights, can I say hello to a few people? So, uh, Sarah, Sarah John's there. You've got Dawn, hello to you. Uh, we've got Moira as well. Uh, who else have we got? Donna's in the mix. So, I love the fact. And uh, where have we got? The top, I love the top fan badge. So, you can get that. Dawn, I'm very... Dawn, I'm actually surprised. You should have your top fan badge. You're always in the chat. So hopefully that will be heading its way. And again, Donna, you should have a top fan badge too. So um, Maureen's joined us saying hello, Yanis. So hello to you, Maureen. Thank you for the mention. So I'll keep an eye on chat and uh, just see what everyone is saying uh, there. Right, brilliant. Both kits, two different options. This is your natural uh, naturals and then you've got your brights coming in. But even with the brights, They've got a wonderful sort of uh, earthy tone to them. They're very, I think, distinguished in their color tones. I like both kits, so uh, I think you've got choices here. Uh, what, this is a show. I would use this as an opportunity, really, to maybe tune in at 5 tomorrow, because you need to see the kits being played with to appreciate how good they are. Uh, but we're already getting busy for these. I like that. What I would say, and actually both brights and neutrals are busy, things to point out, and let's just think about this, because how much would you pay for at that merino wool blend? 55% merino wool. And I also think the fact that, because I haven't done a show yet, is, is Stitch Me Softly a new guest, or? We think they could possibly be a new guest. I just personally haven't done a show with them, so I, I'm so sorry if I'm wrong with that. But. What I would say is the fact that we are busy on these, and I haven't even shown you a completed example, to me suggests that a lot of crafters at home, you're aware of the brand, something's going on. They have, of course, all right, so they have been on before. Now that's getting me worried. Have I done a show with Stitch Me Softly? I don't think I have. And is it with Emma? Have I? I don't think I have, but I, I might be wrong on that. But it seems that Emma has got a fan base, and we're already getting busy for both options, so do not miss out. You have got two flexi payments as well, £32.50, 690705, your item number. Uh, please make sure to tune in 5 o'clock tomorrow, stitching me softly, because I think you're in for an absolute treat. And well done, anyone who's getting hold of these. All I can tell you, and I kind of describe, uh, I'm sorry, I know we were wrapping up, but I'll just leave you on this. As a, um, as a TV presenter, I feel I am your hands because you can see but you can't touch and feel the quality so all I can tell you and I'll never lie to you I'll always be honest and share my uh, my genuine thoughts they feel great they really do the color tones look fantastic and you can just see the little touches with the packaging and everything you can see eco-friendly just a lovely kit okay so there we go we're gonna move on we're gonna jump onto our website as we head towards our happy hours um, so Oh, uh, Marcia has just joined the chat as well, having a little look. How many people have got watching? We've got a few faces watching us. I like that. I'm looking at the Facebook Live. And now we are looking at the website. So what are you going to be popping into your basket? Red liner tape, maybe? Interesting. Oh, we've got a Ross Papercraft 2 MDF key house. Now that's nice. I like those. We've also got the uh, Christmas baubles. 500 grams of buttons for $9.95. Ooh, that's going to keep you in buttons for a while. So there we go. Lots to discover on our website. Going to share with you now, these are happy hours. So all the prices are around for this hour. And then at the end of the hour, they'll revert back. Oh, no, that's, a big, that's a big difference. What would you rather pay? 987 Because 987 I mean, that's, that's a good price, even if you just wanted to have a little bit of a punt, a tickle at it, and think, okay, I'll just go for this. I'm a Freedom member, because uh, you are getting an awful lot. 
33.87, I'd be thinking, oh, I want to pay a bit more attention. It's more of a considered purchase. I mean, look, all money is a considered purchase. Don't get me wrong. Let's have a look. So you're getting a lovely mix in here. I am instantly drawn. Ooh. Now, look at that. It is, that's a paper. There's a mixture within this bundle. So you've got your, look at this. Beautiful. It's like a foiled uh, paper in there. It is a paper weight. That's not a card cardstock weight there. So you're getting that. Then we've got our, this is more of a, ooh, is there multiple sheets? Again, yeah, that's more of a paper weight still. But lovely, ooh, sorry. Lovely foiled holographic. Liking that. So we've got that in the mix. Just having a look. Oh, I'm... I've been, I've been dense. I'm sorry. Look, these are actually stickers. I knew there was something going on. So just have a little look. I won't peel it off. So those are stickers that you can use. And you've got the, uh, the embellishments in that holographic foil. So they pull away in that. So sorry, that was me being slow on the uptake. Then we have, these are very sweet. I would fussy cut these out and use those in a project. Look at that. That's onto vellum these lovely little fairies. That's quite fun, liking that. Then we have our pearlescent paper. It, again, it's a paperweight that I'm showing you. So you get these beautiful pearlescent papers, a so great matting layering for your sentiments. And on the other side, I've got more. That's just, uh, it's again, a look, it's like a, a white ice pearlescent. Beautiful. And then, so we've got our little pearlescence. This is a real smorgasbord of goodies for you. Everything you can see at the bottom of your screen, so you get a good idea of uh, everything that you're getting. All right, here we go. Now let's start thinking about this, because now we're on to our card stock. So you're getting an awful lot there. Should we give it the flick and the wobble? Oh, I, do you know what? I think this is going to be a profound flick and wobble. So what should we, Kirsty? Ladies choice, what would you prefer to start with, a flick or a wobble? I want to start with a wobble. Game changer, because normally I get flick. Okay, we're going to get wobble. That is a fine wobble. 300 GSM in anyone's book, so that's where I'm going with that one. It's a great weight. So to me, construction weight all day long, but also for your card blanks, your die cutting. So you're getting all of that. Nice red. Think Christmas. Fantastic. Then we have more vellum for you in the mix as well. So we've got more pattern vellum coming through. Lovely. With that little gold inflection. Cheeky. See that, though? That's not Christmas. That to me is celebration, it's all year round. Uh, you can put colors behind, so sort of change it in there as well. Okay, then we have, okay, this, this is a mixture really, but nice little toppers you can cut down, play around with. And then we have more elements coming through. Oh, we've got more cardstock for you. All right, just for the cardstock alone, actually I tell a lie, it's not cardstock, it's a mixture. So we've got vellum there, that is coloured vellum in your green. And then we've got green cardstock there as well. So that's to complement your red. Oh, that you've got both green and red cardstock. So everything uh, that you're getting, you can see scrolling at the bottom of your screen. I've messed that. I've, I'm so sorry. I've destroyed your pack shot there, Kirsty. But uh, £9.87 and 87 pence. Nice opportunity to get hold of uh, a lot of diversity into your stash. Get something different. Uh, 20% of the stock's already gone. Nice, we're busy. Okay, we're going to move on. We have got more. Another monster bundle for you. So, put up the details onto your screen. 19.99, saving 60 pounds, 212, 368, your item number. But that price is only for this hour. Let me just show you some stamps that you're getting. You're getting a lot of stamps in the mix. So, 83 stamps. Have a look at these two. I like those. That's nice. The little tea. You got the tea, tea party. So love those stamps. In it. Those two already. You've got my attention. Okay. Then we have a bit more of a, a Christmas whimsical. There we go. That, that actually resembles me very closely over the Christmas period. We like that. Little sentiments in the mix. Okay. Then we have, now these stamps are interesting. I've not brought these to you 
before personally. So these are your Debbie Moore uh, designs. So you've got individual stamps, lots going through here. And I would, I'm just going to show you, they are colored stamps. So you can see they, they're, it feels like, a, a, it's like a clear stamp, but obviously with a color tint to them. So I don't want, the only reason I say that is just to give you an appreciation of what they are. They're not, they're not clear, but they're not red rubber or uh, anything like that. So there you go. You're getting all these stamps, beautiful florals. Think how many. Do, I wish, I wish I was like Leone here, because just being able to stamp one out for you, then, oh, Kirsty's on, Kirsty's on it. Kirsty, all I need is an acrylic block. So we've got paper, we've got cardstock here, acrylic block and an ink pad. That's it, and we will give it a go. Because I think you really need to see one of these being used to see how good they are. So should we give it a go live on TV? What could go wrong? Uh, then we have, look at this, more cardstock for you. So you're getting two. I mean, that is a huge amount. So you've got your white and off-white, two kilograms in total. Do we, do we have a GSM for this? I would say let's err on the size of caution and say maybe 220 to 250. So I do not have the exact uh, GSM there. That is heavier. So that's your 220 to 250. So I'm trying to uh, say be cautious with that. Here, this to me, it's more of a 160. I think you're kind of bordering on. It's it's more a paperweight. So it's definitely not. It's not a light paperweight. That's why I say sort of a 160. But that you're looking at more paperweight here. Definitely into cardstock territory. So you're getting both of those. Uh, we are going to try and have, I'm going to linger here for a little longer because we'll try and stamp out one of the, um, one of the stamps because you kind of need to see them. And then you have got another, this is a, a rubber stamp. If Kirsty, if you need an, if you need an ink pad, Leonie will have one, Kirsty. Just run into the other room and she'll give you one. So it's uh, versifying Claire or something. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> I love the fact he's, I just want any ink pad. First of all, clear, anything. Uh, so there we go. You're getting your red rubber in there that you would cut out. So, okay, that's uh, what we're getting. We're going to move on and we will come back to this because uh, I want to, I want, I want to, let me just show you here. I want to tidy this up. I've got the red line tape here. Oh, have we got it, guys? Have we got it? Yay. Shall we have a play? Okay, distress ink, we can do that. So, Let's do this. This is a first for me. I'm going to make this my little demo area. I'm a little bit nervous because I, we all know I am, I'm no Leone. Uh, but let, let, yeah, never let Yanis loose. Bad idea. So let me get one of the uh, stamps out of here. Oh, no. Okay. I'll just pull that apart. So there's one of the stamps. We will. Now I'm just wondering if it will clean. Oh. All right. That is not clinging, so what I'll do, I'm just going to stamp like this. I'm going to go freehand. I'm going to go, normally you would mount it. Let's have a look. This is, oh no. He hasn't, he's not mounted it. This is not going to, this is not going to go well, but hey, we'll see. So this what I would do. It's not going to be a perfect print. So we, we all know this because... Normally I would mount it, but this would be like a mixed media. If you don't want to get a perfect one, we've seen Lou uh, and Leonie do this kind of technique all the time. So let me just put that there. And then, what do we think? It's okay. It, look, it's not my best. Obviously you would use, <laughs> you'd use your mount. But there, I'll just show you that. It's not, it's not terrible. Let me just show you. Look, think about mounted, but I think the fact that I just laid that on and did it, it's not too bad, right? That's okay. But then that's a technique we would be using for background. So just to show you, I'm actually, I think that's okay. It's not brilliant, but it's not terrible. So there we go. And I wouldn't have used a distress as well. I would have used, say, uh, more of a permanent ink for that technique. So there we go. Uh, there are your uh, stamps. You're getting all the stamps. Okay, look, it was, I kind of regret saying I would stamp it out now. But look, we have, it's happened. Let's just move on and all forget. Uh, $19.99 is your price. Saving £60. 212-368, your item number. Now, let's move on. We've got some red liner tape. Let me pull this away. Ba-bum. 
We've got some red liner tape for you. So this is uh, an essential of a craft room. And you've got good sizes to this. So with your red liner tape, uh, you're getting your four of your three mil, four six mil, and two nine mil, and two 12 mil. Ooh, five meters on each. So you can see there, there's your 12 mil. What we do, what's the golden rule with red liner tape, everybody? Don't be shy. We don't store them like this. You'll know this, experienced crafters will know. Uh, you only have to make a mistake once. Who was it that was telling me they stored, I think it was Alex, had some red liner tape in her car on a very hot day like this, and she said that's the last time she ever separated it. So don't store it like that. If you do want to store it like this, just make sure you use an anti-static bag and it stops it sticking. So you've got good sizes here, because sometimes you obviously need that larger 12 mil. Then we have got our 9 mil, which you're seeing here. So you're getting two of the 9 mil. Then we have four of the sticks, six mil. So now we're getting into sort of construction. If you wanted to put a little red liner tape on a flap, you've got that. And then finally, we have our itty bitty three mil. So you're getting three, uh, sorry, four of those. All your red liner tape, saving 10 pounds. I mean, look, 9.99 for all of that. I think that is pretty good going. I've got a little bit of a question for you. How much do you reckon you would pay if you went to your local shop how much would you pay for just one of those? Just one. I mean, not unrealistic, your 12 mil, you might be looking at 250, maybe more. It works out 83 pence. 83 pence. So that's when we kind of say something, all crafts like, yes, it makes sense. Uh, 082530, your item number. While we go along, can I say, it's this point on a Friday, and you could be watching anything. And I know we've got viewers joining us in the UK. Hello to everyone in the UK. Hopefully you haven't been affected by the uh, storms. I have managed to drive through every storm this week now, and it has been uh, shocking. But also I want to say hello to viewers in Europe and also viewers in America as well. So thank you for tuning in. You're all part of the Hochanda family. OK, now we're going to have a look at our next selection of goodies. So what we're getting here, I, I'm drawn to the embellishments. So you're getting embellishments in the mix, 36 pieces here in total. So we've got some beautiful little embellishments. There's some gems coming through, very nice. So we're getting all of those, which are going to be fun to play with. So that's where, oh, this is pretty cool. Now they are little brads, but with baseballs. So they, they're, they're actual brads in there, can you see that? Yeah. Then we have more gems for you, different sizes. So we're getting, I mean, that just for the gems alone, you're getting a lot of gems in the mix, and you're getting all of those. So we're getting all of those embellishments. That already has got my attention. Even if, let's have a look, see how much we're getting. So let's say, what, 50 pence per pack, if you were to get that. Pound there, two, three, four, five pounds, fair enough. So that's five pounds worth, I'm, I look, I'm just guesstimating, but I don't think it's unrealistic to say 50 pence. Yeah. So that's five pounds right here. But then we have some glitter pots in the mix too, just showing you. Gold, green, and red. Apologies, there was a sticker on that one. Should we open up the gold? Should we have a little look? I'll be, I'll be careful with it. Let's not open up the gold. <laughs> Can't open it up. Uh, but you see, you're getting your glitters in there as well. So nice little taste of glitters in the mix. So we'll add those to the stash. That is all gravy, really. Because here, this is where the value really is going to start to tot up. You are getting multiples of these fantastic 12.99 pop-up cards. So there are 36 pop-up cards. Now, if I just angle that forward, I know white is an incredibly, notoriously hard color to film in the studio. But do you see how you're getting that staggered pop-up card? So it's building up a scene. You can see the house. Oh, I've got it upside down. I'm not helping you at all, Hannah. I'm so sorry. So there, you can see the house. Does that make, now it's a house, right? So you see that scene. That is a pop-up card. There, you, how many are we getting, the pop-up cards? 36 pop-up cards, 12 designs, uh, we're getting three of each. So there's the house pop-up card. I'll try and find you another design. 
That's a house. Oh, we've got good luck in there. It's black, oh, white and black. It's two hardest colors to show you. Uh, but there it's, mm, can you see that? Not really. Good, good luck. There you go. So that's another pop-up card. But in the black, and you've got all the elements you need there, so I won't show you that one, too many of those. Uh, you are getting the envelopes here as well. This one will be slightly easier, hopefully. Best wishes. You can see you've got your best wishes. So we've got best wishes. We've got good luck in the mix. All of these pop-up cards. Oh, that's nice. You've got a flower. Okay, there's you've got the rose. I'm just showing you. These are Kanban. There, so it's a brand you might be aware of. So you've got your flowers in the mix as well. Uh, we've got little teddy bears as well. Very nice. There you go. Just see the teddy bear. So beautiful cards, pop-up cards in the mix. Think how much for $12.99. So 36 pop-up cards. How much is that? You're going to have to help me out with the math, Ross. So per pop-up card, how much would that work out as? That works out at 36 pence per pop-up card, and that doesn't even factor in the embellishments that you're getting there as well. So I think this is a very good deal if you just want to stock up uh, and get some quality pop-up cards there. 305-428, your item number. Right, we're going to move on. We have more. These are your MDF key houses. I like these. The laser detail is beautiful. Look at that. So we layer up, we build up the detail coming through. Fun to put together, but I, I'm not going to lie to you. I need this in my life because the I think the one you put the little hooks in, the one thing that's going to be written on my epitaph, not to sound too morbid, is where are my keys? It is the, the thing every time. And my wife keeps telling me, why don't you just put them in the same place? Which is actually a very good idea. But uh, you go into the house, you've had a long day, you forget. So having this key rack uh, or ha key house just for all your keys when you go in, for me, I need this, I really do genuinely need this in my life. And it looks great. So as crafters, it's a really fun project to make, but also it's going to be functional too. So we've got added little embellishments that you can uh, layer up there. So we put the watering can in the mix. We also have an owl. Where would we put the owl? Here we go. So we'd layer up the owl here. So you've got all those little elements, but the real joy is having the hooks for your keys because, do you know where this would be really good? What about keys? I don't want to force them in because when you force them in, they're locked. That's, that's why I'm not pushing them in fully. But um, So you've got one, two, three, four, five of those hooks. How about having them in your home? Do you have, um, my parents do this, like little key rack for like your shed keys, for the greenhouse, for the garage, you know, all those little keys where people say, where's the key to the garage or where's the key to the shed? Having them all here so you know where they are and then they go back on there, you're not going to lose them. $9.99 is your price if you want to get hold of this. There are a lot of, how all I would say is, are you somebody in your, no, it probably won't be you. Maybe someone in your house is the kind of person who always loses their keys and is always saying, where are my keys? That, that's my job. I normally say that. So uh, if you know someone like that in your life, you need to get hold of this. Maybe they might not even live with you. But you as a crafter, it is your obligation, nay, your duty to make this for them. Uh, 9.99 is your price, 285373, item number. All right, we're going to move on. We have some double-sided satin ribbon and wait till you see the price on this 16 pounds and nine pence for all of this beautiful satin ribbon and it is an absolute premium gorgeous satin ribbon what am i oh it's a button i was wondering what i was standing on i'll leave that down there so how much are we getting on each 50 meters on each of those it is your eleganza satin ribbon premium quality double faceted satin ribbon just showing you. Should we, should we tease one? Can we tease one out? Um, no. Okay, so it's in, it's in the packaging. I don't want to open up the packaging. But you've got lovely color uh, colorways coming through. So I'll just show you the sides there. I mean, that is such a gorgeous, decadent, rich purple. You, the reason why I wanted to just pull, pull a little bit out is to show you the width. So you can see there, um, it's not the full width of the packaging. You can see it's slightly thinner than that. Then you've got your red coming through and we've got a sort of dark maroon or oh, actually if we lay them all let's lay them like that that's the best way to see it all ready to go 
and these are absolutely premium ribbons. So think about your projects, especially as a paper crafter or mixed media, just uh, finishing off a project, tying a ribbon, making a bow. Nine, uh, sorry, sixteen pounds and nine pence is your price. Normally these would be twenty three ninety nine. Uh, there is a seven pounds and ninety pence saving. Three oh six two one zero your item number. This is how. Okay, this just makes sense. It works out two pounds sixty eight per spool. Two pounds, is it a spool? I'm going to go with it. Two pounds 68. All right, we're going to move on. Ha. Huh. Buttons galore. These are your autumn buttons. You're getting 500 grams in total. So an awful lot of buttons. Lovely little colorways coming through here. So they all, it just works. The greens, those beautiful autumnal hues, the oranges uh, and the yellows coming in. You've got different sizes as well of buttons. So what I'd be thinking is mixed media, absolutely. Uh, also, for your um, soft crafting projects too, of course you're going to be using those as well. You're just getting an awful lot of buttons. I had a story uh, talking about buttons. I remember hearing um, this was years ago from one of our lovely guests just saying that they went to a charity shop and they saw some buttons and they said to uh, someone, whoever was working in the charity shop, I'm interested in the buttons, how much are they? Say this button here. I mean, it wasn't this exact one, but just to give you an idea for the story, or this one. And asked how much the button was and the person said, oh, 30 pence. You're like, 30 pence a button? I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, but look how many buttons you're getting here. Imagine if you paid 30 pence for all of these buttons. And I know that some are smaller, but it just gives you an indication of when we're talking about, because this is the whole chanda, so we're going to give you a good price. 500 grams for 9.95. You're getting an awful lot of buttons in the mix. I would absolutely be using these because you're getting so many and the color coordinate uh, wonderfully together. Mixed media projects. So think about that. Getting your gel mediums down, employing your buttons, and using it as a check, uh, texture and an added layer of interest. Four six seven nine one eight. Your item number. Now uh, we do have something at seven o'clock on Sunday. We're going to be introducing Ali Edwards. Let's have a little look here. So Ali Edwards. I'm just showing a little preview. This is the travel collection for Ali Edwards. Uh, if you do want to get involved here, uh, 31 pounds and 99 pence is your price. And you're getting, I mean, you're getting a lot in there. You've got your journal cards, you've got your sticker sheets, foil, your fabric circles, embellishments. So an awful lot going, ah. Do you know what, I knew it. With the, I'm just, the reason why I'm not talking is because I was just peeling off the stamp. The reason why it didn't cling, it had a backing to it that I couldn't get off. That's bugged me. We're going to try and stamp again. Uh, so £31.99 is your price, and that's going to be Sunday at 7 o'clock. So something else that's coming up. That really bugged me. So those stamps, uh, I knew they had a backing to it. I just couldn't get it off. That's why I didn't put it on the block. I've just got it on the block now. We're going to have another go at stamping. Let's see if I can do a better job. Not sure. Okay, so let's have a look here. This is going to be tomorrow's one day special. Oh, memory box. This is nice. Forty nine ninety nine. You are getting fifteen uh, dies in total. Five four five two zero three. Your item number. They are beautiful. Oh, got to show you something. I apologise. Uh, we misspoke. This is going to be Sunday's one day special. 69.92. This is Pretty Gets Gritty, and I'm so sorry. Pretty Gets Gritty is back. I am so, so pleased. Uh, Lynette Jasper is once again back where she should be on Hochanda. So uh, we're going to have some fun on Sunday, launching at 6. Can we? Is it possible to possibly dim the lights? Can we do that? I tell you, with good reason. Yeah, if we could go. And we have a little look here, because I'm going to show you something that I think you're going to like. Let's have a little look. Lights coming down. Look at that. Ooh, hoo hoo. That is just a lovely inspiration. Really nice. There we go. Thank you, Hannah. I'll turn that off now. So, Lynette. Oh, I'll put that. There you go. <laughs> um, I'm, look, Lynette is amazing. And I'm, I'm genuinely, I was so pleased when I heard she was coming back to Hochandra. I sent her a message. 
she is an incredible, and I don't say this lightly, as a mixed media artist, I think she is fantastic. And I always love working with Lynette. So she is extremely talented in what she offers you. You're getting some beautiful, beautiful stamps in the mix. Now we start having a look at what we're getting. So let me turn this around, for instance. Look at the detail in that. Whew. That is, I mean, that's instant crackle that Lynette's affording you. I knew that was going to fall over. We'll leave that down there. Uh, or how about this? You've got a wonderful, oh, come on. You've got your own little pump, uh, uh, thumbprint. Then we have textures. And this is what Lynette loves to do. When you watch her work, she builds up those layers of interest coming through, balances up a piece. She loves background textures and more fo focal points to it. You've got your splats in there as well. All designed by Pretty Gets Gritty. It's going to be a really good launch. I know it. I know it, and uh, I cannot wait. I'm going to be tuning in. I'm not in this weekend. We're actually busy for this now. And if, you're, if you are watching and you've got this in your basket, well done. And I don't, I don't want to sound patronizing, but I think it's a really good shout because how often, you, A, you might not be around. Say you're thinking, well, I don't know where I'm going to be at 6 o'clock on Sunday. And B, how often do you watch a show at Hochanda and we'll do a big launch, and this is going to be a big launch, I promise you that, and then see that we've had a, a sellout before you could get hold of it. You're saving £18. You are getting 23 A6 stamps. Tw 23. Oh, sorry, you're getting, you're getting 23 stamps on the sets, not, not sets, sorry. Yeah, so you're getting 23 of these uh, stamps, and they're A6 stamp sets. Just, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm confusing the matter. But you can see the amount of attention that has been put into all of these. But when, when you tune in and watch Lynette bring these inspirations together, the stamps, the designs, everything, let me just show you, because I have got some uh, beautiful little cards in the mix. This gives you an idea of what... Lynette is all about. Take a look at that. Or would you like to do something like this? For $34.96, maybe this is more up your street. Was it upside down? Apologies. That makes more sense. I mean, that is so good. How about this? Or do you like this? Or maybe you could see yourself making this. Now you get an idea of Lynette's style. If you haven't seen Lynette Jasper here at Hochanda previously, even that is gorgeous. But look at all. What Lynette does is give you the tools to make these creations. And that's, for me, it's uh, the best bit of advice I could give you as a crafter, especially if you're starting off, is find your kind of style. So if you do love mixed media, Pretty Gets Gritty, Nanette is absolutely one to watch out for. But then get hold of the right stamps, the right designs, because they will make life easy for you. $69.92 is your price, but you have got access to two flexi payments of $34.96. Uh, sorry, 260110, your item number. Uh, Janice is going to tell us a little bit about freedom. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> 
You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge, and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. Well, hello, everybody. You caught me looking at the chats. I love to see everyone chatting together. Uh, that was Janice telling you a little bit about freedom. We are going to have a little sneak peek again to the future. This is tomorrow's one day special. I like this already. Memory box, your Christmas snow globes. How beautiful are these? So if you want to make a, uh, a wonderful, engaging snow globe, that is, that's really nice. You've got the sun or the star radiating out. It would be the star, wouldn't it? radiating out and then you've got the woods in there or oh, this is a really nice one look at that one Santa the reindeers dancing in the air you've got that ah oh, it's making me feel a bit Christmassy you've got the uh, obviously the the fire going on in the home so beautiful snow globes lovely images that is a very very cute collective of uh, baby animals you got the little penguin, the part of the cub and the reindeer, and then we have, I like those. Obviously, you play around with where you want to position them. And then we have some other friends in uh, the final part. So your, your scene building within the snow globes. Oh, okay. That looks, now I know you've got another hat that you could be uh, putting onto the snowman, but that looks like they're giving the little baby snowman his first hat. Like, here you go, you're now... A, you are now a snowman. Uh, let me just show you the actual dies that you're getting here. So we have got the dies. Let me just show you there. So these are the dies that you're going to be getting from We Are Memory. Uh, sorry, Memory Box. And then, yeah, we like these. Okay, so there we go. And let me just show you what they will make because you've seen the dies. But do you like the look of that? Or, do you like the look of that? That's cute. How about here? Yeah, with the little, I love it, little penguin. And then you've got the bear in the mix as well. So look, nice collection. It's another one where when you tune in tomorrow for the one day special and throughout the uh, one day special hours, you really get to see how to get the most from your set. Two flexi payments of £25. You're saving £30, but if you're tuning in right now, if you're a fan of Memory Box, you can secure your purchase now and then kick back and relax. Watch the shows and rest in the knowledge, rest easy rather, in the knowledge that these will be winging their way to you. Uh, 545 203, your item number. Now, uh, uh, this is cool. Sunday at 1 p.m., we have the Little Soap Kitchen. Just going to share that. So you get to make, and this is always popular whenever we feature it, the Little Soap Kitchen, uh, you uh, get to make your own soaps for $23.99. So we've got the Little Soap Kitchen DIY soap making kit with transparent blue eucalyptus and tea tree. Ooh, oh. So it's going to be like a transparent blue soap. And then you've got... Those are two big hitters, eucalyptus and tea tree, a beautiful sense. So, uh, yeah, we like, we like this. It, it is a question of, I think, please tune in and see it. Or, because I know they're popular when we brought them to you before, so if you've maybe bought a previous set and you're like, I want this now, $23.99 your price. We are going to have another rec uh, recap of our happy hour deals. So in here, what we're going to do, because you're getting so much in this collection, we will just scroll everything that you are getting. So this is your Christmas watercolor paper crafting collection. You've got card, vellum, paper. So uh, ranging from 160 to 300 GSM. I think I was pretty much spot on there when we were talking about sort of paperweights coming through because this is, that is 300 GSM in anybody's money. So that's a, a really good weight card stock. But then you've got your green in there as well. If I just show you, look at this. Those two, that is a strong, festive power color. So green, red, 
already denoting very festive colours. But then, to really make it Christmas, how about adding a wonderful little holographic um, snowflake, if you want to. So these are large snowflakes. They're already, you just peel off their stickers. Let me show you there. That's a present that I peeled off. You can just take those off. And can I, should I put that on one? Okay, yeah, should I do it? Why not? I'm just thinking, should I put it on there? We can layer up. This would be, oh, okay, you know what? I don't want to wreck it. But what I would do is maybe put that on there. I'm going to stick it back onto the carrier sheet. That's why I'm not sticking it down. So put that on there, and then you could layer up if you wanted to. So layer up those three colors, if I just show you. So we've got our greens, our red, and then you've got that wonderful, it's like a, a sort of copper color coming through. So you're getting all of that. Now, can I get this back on is the question. Mm, it's actually not too bad. I'll take that. Okay, there, no, no one will ever know. Uh, so there we go, we're getting a holographic. We've also got vellum in the mix as well. Um, this is nice. We've got our little characters there, which I think are kind of cute, so you can have that. Don't have to, that to me, all year round. You do not have to use those for Christmas. We've got pearlescent in the mix. I gave you a little flash of the pearlescent. So this is, I mean, look at that. Lovely little, to me, that is your topper. So what I would do is mat and layer a topper, rather, with that. And then you've got sort of a pearl, off-white pearlescent there. It's hard, hard to see, but you can get, get a sense of the pearlescent nature. So we're getting that. And then we have, have a look at this. Now that is very decadent. Instant Christmas, die cut that. It's just a one foot, it is a paperweight, but really, really nice. Uh, very reflective, refractive. And then we have uh, more vellum in the mix too, and even more vellum for you. So lots of vellum, lots of cardstock, papers. Uh, it is a real smorgasbord. Uh, 9 87 your price, saving £24. 605-358, your item number. Half the stock has gone here. 9 87 surely worth a punt. I mean, just for the cardstock alone, I think you're kind of doing uh, well. We've only got 16 minutes left on the show, and at the end of the show, all the prices will revert back. So that 987 will suddenly become 3387. See, when you think about it, because I would feel if I was sat at the home, and especially I am a Freedom member, so I don't pay for my postage, it's all included in my Freedom membership. 987, uh, I kind of feel if I'm sat at home, and especially being on lockdown, you might, that is, if you go, go out maybe for a couple of drinks, You've covered that, right? So 987, I feel good. 3387, then I would pause and think, okay, I need to think about this a bit more. That is, to me, definitely more of a considered purchase. We're going to move on. We have a really nice bundle, uh, loads of stamps coming through. So you've got your uh, paper, your card stock. Let me just show you. These are stamp sets that you can see instantly. So we're getting 83 stamps in total. So this is a kind of stamp set, if, I mean, you could, I could see this on Hochanda, how much would you be paying just for these two? And they're very cute uh, stamp sets. You're getting so much more than these two, but I'm just uh, giving you an idea of value for money. So we're getting those two sets. We're getting our little flower in the mix that you can see here. And then we've got, now I was playing with these, I've taken one out. So this one here is a frame, which you can see there. So what I would say, and... Earlier on, I went to stamp this, and it wouldn't go on the block, only because I couldn't get, I was fumbling around, there's a carrier sheet, obviously, to stick your stamp onto the block. I just couldn't get it off. It was my nail. So what I've done is, when I had a bit more time, and the camera wasn't on me, I was able to take it off. So I'm just going to pat this here, quite lightly, and we'll give it a go. So these are the stamps you're seeing there. Let me just, I just want to make sure I caught this edge. Okay, and we will have a go at stamping down. So, just to show you, they are, uh, I, I would class it as, I, I can't tell you if they're a polymer or an acrylic stamp, they're, they're a clear with a tint. All I'm saying, they're not a uh, rubber stamp. That's all I want to tell you on that one. So we just let that soak in for a moment. And there we go. The pad, it's more the uh, pad that we, we nab. It's a slightly older pad, so it's not very juicy. So that's why 
it hasn't. Well, you could get to see that's not bad. Let me turn that around. Sorry, Hannah. There we go. So you're getting your little frames in there. That's just one of the stamps. I would be using uh, a slightly fresher ink pad. I think would make life a bit easier. And obviously, I maybe go for. Um, I mean, distress oxides. It depends on the kind of look you're going to use. That was a distress oxide pad that has been laying around Hochanda for a little while. So you're getting all the stamps. You're also getting the cardstock and the paper. More stamps in the mix here. You have got some rubber stamps uh, in there too. So all of that for 19.99. Two one two three six eight. Your item number. We're going to move on. We've got some red liner tape uh, for you, which we'll have a look at. So red liner tape. Now this is an essential in any craft room. So you are going to be using this and we've got different sizes coming through. Let me just talk to you about this because we can all relate to going into a craft shop on the high street. How much would you pay for a 12 mil, five meter red liner tape? I don't think it's unrealistic to say two pounds 25 maybe possibly more. I'm, I'm cautious of the fact these are guesstimations, so uh, I'm not telling you that's the exact price, but look, you'll know that as a crafter, you'll know what you've paid and what you've seen. Here at Hochanda, it works out 83 pence per reel. So for your 12 mil, you're getting two of those, 83 pence each. Then we have our 9 mil, two of those, 83 pence each. Then we have our 6 mil. You're going to get four of the 6 mil, there's one just uh, hanging out there. There we go. Four of your six, and then you're getting four of your three mil as well. So all of those, great sizes, uh, and there are occasions when you do need the 12 mil, and we've been there, so you kind of need uh, that thicker red liner tape. Do you know what? The 12 mil is also great for techniques, so don't just think as adhesive. Think about strips of glitter, embossing powders, uh, if you've got any textures you want to put down as well, so crystals, so it's nice. Right, there we go. That's your red liner tape. Uh, 9.99 your price, saving 10 pounds. 082530 your item number. Now we have another happy hour deal that we haven't seen. Let's have a look. These are your MDF baubles. $9.99 is your price. We are getting 50 of them. Uh, 046 911, your item number. Do we know how big they are? Because we're looking at the picture, but it's hard to gauge a sense of scale. The smallest is nine, what, nine by three and a half centimeters. That's the smallest. That's not small. And the largest is 17 by 5 centimeters. How much is that in inches out of interest? I work better in inches. It is... Okay, so the largest is 6.6 .6 inches. So, I mean, that's a respectable size there. You see, it's a, it's a good size. Uh, you're getting with the baubles, and the only reason I'm, I'm talking about the measurements is because looking at those pictures, you don't, especially if you don't see them live, you could be getting hold of 50, but think, well, how big are they? Considering the largest ones, six inches, that gives you a, a real sense of scale now. Uh, nine, I mean, that's a, a good size. 9.99 your price, uh, 046-911, your item number. Okay, now we have got more for you. This is a nice bundle. Because what you're getting here, I'll just admit you're not getting the red liner tape. Uh, we've got embellishments, which we're showing you. You've also got 36 pop-up cards. It's 36 of these. Now, each one, self-contained kit to make a pop-up card. You get everything you need. Let me pick one that's easier to see. So where's the house? Oh, actually, do you know what? Nice quick cards. This is actually one I didn't show you before. So you've got your flowers in there. Uh, I know it's hard to see here, but look, you can see there are the flowers, right? But you've got everything you need. You've got your envelope, you've got your mat and layer, all the uh, everything you need to build your pop-up card. And obviously, the, the dynamic of the pop-up card, you open it up, and the design just comes out to you. I want to show, I want to find the house. Let me see, it's disappeared. Is that it? Wait. Oh, this is not good TV. I'm sorry, guys. Let me just, I might have to... I'm going to give up. But there was a house in there as well that I just thought was pretty cool. So 36 pop-up cards. And we worked out that it was, uh, per pop-up card, it was working out at 36 pence per pop-up card. But then we haven't even factored in the embellishments. So actually, 
let's do this because I I would say it's not unrealistic that all those embellishments five pounds. So if we took five pounds off the price, how much would it then be for the thirty-six poppy run? That'd be twenty-two pence per pop-up card. So that again is another guesstimation from me, but the way I worked it out is sort of say fifty pence per pack. And you could see that if you went into your local craft shop. I think that's Fair enough. I've, I've tried to be reasonable with that. These are little baseball brads, which I think are cute. So if you're doing maybe a sports-themed uh, inspiration, I think that's very, very nice. Or how about that? Or you got this in there, lovely little crystals. So all the embellishments coming through, you're getting all of these in your stash. Good way. I mean, that we use all the time. It's a finishing little touch. Or what about those? So you're getting all of those. I even like this. Buttons and pins. And then we have our glitters in the mix as well. You can see all three of these glitters, the gold, the greens, and the red. So you're getting those as well. So that is your bundle, 36 pieces in total, 305, 428. Really like this too. This is your key house. Uh, it has been popular. I genuinely need this in my life. So if you are someone like me who's always losing their keys, as look, just as an MDF project, that looks great. Now you are getting two of these, two sets. So this is one set. It doubles up. You're getting another set. We just don't have that physically in the studio. So one for yourself, one for a friend. I like the little details as well. The little owl, we can layer up the owl on there and the watering can which is just down here, so we can layer that in the mix. And then you have got five opportunities to hang up your keys. So I won't push it in, because I just don't want it to lock into place. But you can see there, there are the hooks in there. This is a must, and I think it would look beautiful if you do have uh, maybe a place where you store your shed keys, the keys to the greenhouse. Uh, maybe a, another really good one, have you got a padlock on a gate? because that's the key. You know when we have a drawer, and it's in the drawer, no one can find it. So if you have a padlock on a gate, hang them on your uh, key rack here, or your car keys when you come into your home. So it's there, you know where, because I am always losing my keys. You need this in your life. If you, are, if you or you know anybody who cannot find their keys, you are getting two of these for 9 99 so five pounds each. But look, as crafters, we want a nice project. So if you're looking for your next project, what goodies do you have at home? Because even in its raw form, without having to do pretty much anything to that, it looks very pretty, right? We'll just layer up the detail and then hang that up. But if you do want to take it that step further, I think as a crafter, uh, and start painting, so think about your paints, your goodies, your mediums, I think you can do something very special. All right, now we've got some ribbon for you. I'm just going to whip these on their side so you can see all six of these, 50 meters on each. So when you think 300 meters of beautiful eleganza double-sided satin ribbon, see so it's got that double faceted lavender, purple, damson, plum, aubergine, and burgundy. Uh, they are three mils, so that's the size of the actual ribbon that you are getting, but really nice decadent ribbon. Uh, I didn't have a chance to show you. We also have the five gram, uh, five, uh, yeah, it's five grams, uh, 500 grams rather of, uh, five grams would be nothing, uh, 500 grams of buttons and details on the screen there. Thank you so much uh, for joining me this evening. I'm sorry I didn't get to chat to you very much in the chat rooms, but uh, you're all stars, so thank you for keeping me company. Uh, that's it for the show. We will be back tomorrow live at 7 a.m. in the morning. We've got another look at our Pent Up One Day Special coming up next. Then Dolly Dimples is going under the sea. Uh, after that, we have a happy hour show. Lots to enjoy here at Hochanda. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But 
but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day, and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Achanda, now shipping again to you out in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom member, though. Take advantage of that saving. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Come and celebrate Mama Make's third anniversary with us this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Ho 